Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 2011 State Farm Home Run Derby. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman, and welcome to everybody here in Phoenix, everybody watching across America, around the world. Welcome to Chase Field here in Arizona. Nothing excites us more about baseball than the long ball, and tonight, we have eight of the best in the business. So, we need your help all night long though. So you fans behind home plate, are you ready? Huh? You fans down first base and right field, are you ready? How about those out at the pool? Can we hear you in the pool? Not so loud, uh, left field. Are we ready up there, way up top, down the left field line? Are you guys all ready for some long ball? You got to help them a little more than that because we've got a different format this year. The American League against the National League. Imagine that. And we have team captains who happen to be the winners of the last two State Farm home run derbies. So why don't we introduce the visiting American League team captain now. He is the defending champion here in the home run derby. One of the great clutch hitters of this generation and a smile that can light up every ballpark that he plays in. The starting designated hitter for the Boston Red Sox, 368 lifetime home runs, so many of them clutch, Big Poppy David Ortiz. Leading off for the American League in the starting second baseman, only Joe DiMaggio had more hits his first five years as a New York Yankee. Robinson Cano. Starting first baseman and batting second for the American League, he leads the league in batting average at 354. He leads the majors in RBIs with 77. From the Boston Red Sox, Adrian Gonzalez. What hasn't this starting outfielder done? 31 home runs leads the major leagues. He had 54 last year to lead the major leagues. 85 in a season and a half. His batting average of 334 is second in the American League, and he set a record garnering over 7.4 million All-Star votes from the Toronto Blue Jays, Jose Batista. Your American League lineup. And now, the starting first baseman and the captain of our National League squad tonight. Two years ago in St. Louis, he won the State Farm Home Run Derby in 09. In 07, he hit 50 home runs. In 09, he had 141 RBIs. Both led the league. This season, 72 RBIs. Tied for the league lead. 22 homers, tied for second. From the Milwaukee Brewers, Prince Fielder. What's up, baby? Can't please everybody, huh? Uh-uh, not at all. Say, what's up? Leading off for the National League. He led the National League in RBIs and batting average in 2007. He's missed a little time this year with injury, but he can belt them. Outfielder for the St. Louis Cardinals, Matt Holliday. They don't like me. The starting second baseman has certainly come into his own the last two years. He set an NCAA record for his career at Southern University. He averaged 473. 
from the Milwaukee Brewers with 17 homers, Ricky Weeks. Batting third, starting outfielder is 67 RBIs, third in the National League. 22 homers, tied for second from the Los Angeles Dodgers, Matt Kemp. Your National League lineup. Well, Prince, you're finding that they love you here, see? Your lineup ready? Oh, yeah, we're ready. We're ready. You sure what makes you know? I don't know. Look at us. I mean, we're huge over here. We're huge. <laughs> and you, too. Well, you've looked at their lineup. You're taking this seriously, Poppy, aren't you? You have to. <laughs> what about your lineup? Are you ready? Oh, we got a good one right here. We got some thunder right here. Now, listen, you're the defending champ. You ready to do two in a row? Only Junior Griffey's done that. Why not? And there it is. Why not? So, Prince, you won it a couple of years ago. What advice do you give these guys? Oh, just swing hard and uh, take a couple pitches to get your breath. Have fun. Good luck, you guys. Good luck, everybody. Working with me tonight on the ESPN telecast. A couple of all-stars and a couple of 300 career batters as well. Please say hello to Nomar Garcia Para and John Cruck. So, Crucky, away we go. It's getting ready, man. It's close. And I tell you what, I from watching from afar, you don't understand the intensity that's down here. You just thought it was a bunch of guys trying to hit home runs, Nomar. These guys are into this thing to win it and, and not to embarrass themselves, aren't they? Well, what I noticed really is these guys were coming out of the dugout is how many of them were sweating. I mean, they were underneath getting some swings, getting their body prepared because they know that they're going to put some torque in that body and their their eyes are in it. I was trying to look around and say, okay, who am I going to pick? It was tough because they all <laughs> look like freaking thoroughbreds ready to go out there and just win the race. Well, they're ready. And someone else who's ready also helping us out of the coverage, Buster Olney with the special guest. I'm here with Jose Batista. Now, this is the first year that we've had captains. Tell me about the conversation you had with David Ortiz when he invited you to be part of the team. Well, he called me up and I was very excited. Uh, he told me he wanted me to be a part of the team, knowing he was a big supporter of mine last year when I didn't get picked. I was uh, thrilled to get the phone call and now uh, I'm not going to let him down and hopefully hit a lot of home runs. David said he got, was going to give you guys a pep speech. Tell me about that. He did, and he t gave us a couple of tips and a couple of uh, things that he thinks are going to help us out. Take a couple of pitches and take a couple of deep breaths and then just swing hard. Thanks, Jose. Over to Pedro Gomez. Guys, the home run participants are not going to be the only winners tonight. Each participant is going to be playing for a local Boys and Girls Club of America charity. And the club matched with the winner tonight is going to receive a $50,000 donation from State Farm. Also, the gold ball is back. Now, State Farm is going to be donating $18,000 for each gold home run. In addition, they're going to also donate $3,000 for each non-gold home run. Now, if you want to hit a big home run for your charity, let State Farm help. Log on to statefarm.com slash go to bat for details on how you can help your charity get to a better state. All right, Pedro, thank you very much. Well, we're trying to rev them up, fellas. We're They'll be ready. It's still only 5 o'clock out here in the desert. They'll get, huh? they'll get revved up when they see how far these monsters are going to be hitting the ball. That first well, one hits the barrel, and it, <laughs> it, and it starts ricocheting out there somewhere in the second deck. They'll get going. Now, yeah. here's the thing. The pool is 415 feet. How long does it take till we get a pool ball? Well, who's the first lefty up? Robinson Cano. There you go. Okay. First hitter. There you in go. the pool? Right there. Absolutely. I like it. All right. Well, we're on record for that. Now, the rules, if you're just joining us for the first time or if you've forgotten a little bit, it's real easy. You swing, the ball goes over the wall, it's a home run. Any swing that doesn't produce a homer, it's an out. The top four of the eight advance to the second round, where the totals carry over. Our top two home run total totals, if you will, go to the final round where the slate is zero. We start anew, and the player with the most home runs wins. Now, there's ways that we have playoffs, etc. Ten outs in each round. If players are tied for advancement, there'll be a swing off, as we say. We'll tell you that at the time. Five swings is in a swing off. In 1991, can it be 
20 years ago already. All-star game, Toronto. I mean, Sky Dome was open and Cal was open for business. I was at that game. I made the all-star team that year and it was a show. I'm like, whoa, I do not belong here at all. And then, of course, we remember 10 years ago at Safeco, the home run. It was almost too good to be true. I mean, he's amazing to watch because he had so many just different swings throughout his entire career, and he knew it was like, okay, I got the home run derby one down, but too. But the one thing that never left him was his wrists and his hands. Right. He had amazing hands. Well, so that was 20 and 10 years ago. Now it's tonight. And presenting Cal Ripken with the ball for the first pitch tonight will be Cody Clark, a State Farm agent from the Phoenix area. And here he is. The Iron Man himself, Cal Ripken, and now everyone on their feet as they should be. You mean he's not going to go all the way out to the mound? I don't know. That's what he looked like he was asking. You know what's funny is that people, as players, you don't you don't go on the mound because you respect the pitchers like that's their mound. He ah. is go he's going up there. He is, but there are some that wouldn't do that. And you know he's been throwing. He's been throwing down the tunnel. You know he has. He's not gonna come out here and bounce one. It's always great to see Cal Ripken at an All Star game, a true All Star. That's for sure. And now Cal is gonna talk it over with the captains, Prince and Poppy. I didn't know he was an umpire, too. He can do everything, can't he? Who, Cal? Cal, he oh, yeah. get to explain the ground rules, everything, right? Third, short, hit anywhere in the lineup, and then be our commissioner. Sure. That's next. Hey, you know what? We're making some change. Hello. Okay, we're going to make some changes. In my line up. Okay. See, Poppy is serious about this. Huh? We're going to make some changes in my line up. Besides having uh, Robinson Cano hitting first, we're going to have Adrian Gonzalez hitting first so we can put some pressure on your <laughs> That's the only changes? That's it. That's it. Right. Good. Everything in order? Yeah. So, see, little gamesmanship. There it is. Because this one is American League against National League. And here is our Taco Bell participants. So now you hear the lineup change, so it's different. Adrian Gonzalez leads off and pretty good having a 354 hitter to start it. So Pompey's lineup, then Robinson Cano hits second. Jose Batista with the most home runs on the planet in the last year and a half. Hits third, and then Big Pompey, the captain, will hit cleanup as he should. The National League, Matt Holliday, who you know, this is his third home run derby. He's a big boy. He's he's ready to belt them here. Ricky Weeks, who I know you like in this competition, Crocky, Matt Kemp, and then Prince Fielder. I, I love Ricky Weeks. I, I you know just the maturity that he's shown. He's become a better defender, and he's and his line drive the other day to dead center, something to behold. And, and when I see Matt, when you're talking about Matt Holiday, some of these guys, all of these guys, the muscles that are just coming out of their forearms and their hands and. It's it's unbelievable. They're monsters. There will be some prodigious blasts tonight. The virtual dimension tour of Chase Field. Right field foul pole is 335. Right field power alley is 380. Okay. The pool 415, 416, depending if you hit it in the deep end. Dead center field is 407. The restaurant where you can dine at 420. Left field foul pole. 3:30, and the baseball tonight set. Ah, are they safe out there at 4:15, guys? Uh, I hope not. So you came down here to avoid that, huh? I came down here to avoid it, but I, I wouldn't mind seeing a couple rattle up there. Get the boys loose. Well, they're all up there, but you know, just in case they're in the trouble zone, we they got themselves some defense. That's and who has provided more defense than young Sam Fold? of Tampa Bay this year, huh? Look at that. Watch out. I hope he doesn't have anything out there he can trip over like that, but the good thing is he'll still catch it. Well, he got to the farthest part of the set and said, what are you doing over there? Why aren't you in the middle? He said, I might need to lay out on one. So he was prepared. <laughs> Look at that. He, he's not afraid to sacrifice that body. 
So Sam is up there. Hey, look, they all got gloves. I, I trust three of the four. <laughs> well, but, which would omit who now? <laughs> well, come on. I'm asking. <laughs> you guys are together every day. Bobby. At the hip. Let's go, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam Fold and Bobby, Barry, and Carl up there will have their insight and their view up there. And so, look, here's one thing to remember about here. I didn't know this, but Chase Field is the second highest in altitude. Obviously, Coors Field is the highest. Right. Chase Field is second. Phoenix at 1,100 feet. They say, Yale professors, I went to Brown, but I'll give this to Yale, all right? It's additional seven or eight feet were this at sea level. So a home run, that a ball that might hit 400 at sea level would travel 408 here. Wonder if that'll come into play. Just giving you the physics, guys. Well, and, and how big's the warning track? Ah, ah seven, between, eight feet. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> warning track, power, and real power. So how do we start? Why don't we start with the guy with the best batting average of everybody? Adrian Gonzalez, former number one pick overall. Of course, made his mark as a Padre, and this year is more than making his mark as a Boston Red Sox, hitting at 354. 77 RBIs are first, also in the league. He has 17 home runs. I guess the only thing he didn't accomplish at San Diego, Nate Colbert had two more homers as a Padre. <laughs> So he didn't stay around long enough to pass Nate. He might have he might have played five more years less than Nate too. And how about Manny Acta pitching to Gonzo. I'll tell so you here's what, another manager. That's right. And it's American League versus National League. You don't think even managers are taking this serious. Hey. I really like the mentality that both these sides are taking. I mean they are taking it really serious. That one's not going. Well you know. All of a sudden, my pick doesn't look so good on that swing. You know, Nomar mentioned it early, though, Chris. Is, is when you take that cage away and you're out there. I mean, you're 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 exposed to the world without a cage around you to hide you. I couldn't imagine taking batting practice in front of a full stand, full full crowd, with with no cage there. Well, he's struggled a couple of years ago. And wants to get the timing down. I mean, he certainly has the timing down of Fenway, doesn't he? That he has no problem doing. There this it is. one is down the right field side, and our first homer of the evening. <laughs> you and you guys were worried about that first two. Come Effortless. On. <laughs> I tell you what, if I had one swing, if I could go back and play, and, and they said you can have one swing, this would be it. I think this is the perfect swing. Just so relaxed, the hands, the nice little leg kick, how soft his front foot hits the ground. I mean, it, it is absolutely perfect. Come on. Come on. Come over there and sit. Gonzalez taking his time. Now there's a bat. Oh, this one is to right center there's field. A pull. There's, there's a pull. Get a pull. Yes. Is it? yes. yes. You called it. That's it. First guy. Splashdown. That's it. First lefty. Can you hear me? There we go. Uh, Adrian Gonzalez had a little trouble. So in just in case, you know, he needs a home run, got him a bat. And it's quite the weapon you're you're possessing there. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a pitcher, and I do have trouble hitting the ball. <laughs> do you get to hit? No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he fell with us here, former teammate of Adrian Gonzalez. So I saw you guys uh, exchanging a few pleasantries beforehand. Does this have enough? Not Ooh, quite. Come on, come on. I, I want Adrian to win so bad. Seriously. I, Heath, when you're on the mound, does the bat look like that at times, or is it always just way too small? You know, I think when we were facing the Red Sox and <laughs> the way Adrian was hitting against us, this is what he was swinging. <laughs> I don't think we got him out one time. He couldn't miss a barrel. No. <laughs> well, not not many people nope. have missed his barrel. No, you know what? Uh, he's um, Adrian's actually taking his time this, this year, and he, he, I expect big things with him. You know, he's hitting the ball really well. So, uh, you know, and, and you know, I talked to Matt over there of the National League side. He, you know, if he needs a little help hitting, I imagine he could swing this right here. Wow, this is a titanic blast to right field. It is gone. Oh, my gosh. That's huge. Oh, wow. That looked like he used that bat, Heath. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he needs his bat. <laughs> 439 on that one. That's, that's unbelievable right there. 
I've you seen know? him take beat batting practice. That's why I was shocked to say, oh, oh. This uh, one, will it stay fair? Get up there. Get yes, sir. He didn't catch that one either. He, he yeah, might have like, broke his bat. I know. I was thinking he might he might need your bat, he. No, uh, yeah, Poppy's look. over there. Oh. <laughs> he wouldn't do this with me two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he thought you were a pitcher and you put bad luck in the whole situation. Yeah, but I could tell you. Now, here's where we're talking about. That That's quite a, what do you have to do, the pine tar to swing that thing? Yeah, you got to get a little pine tar in there, and you got to, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, he, Adrian's probably strong enough to swing it. I'm not. Please. Under this one, straight center field, but not enough. So five outs, he's got four homers. Well, in your division, besides Colorado, this is this it? This is the carrying yard? Um, like, yeah. what, like, like when you're pitching and you don't want to give up on up in the zone? Oh, here in Arizona? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's where we're at, right? Yeah, 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 that's where we're at. <laughs> um, baby. It, it, the Arizona Diamondbacks, they can hit, and this ballpark, I mean, it looks like big. My son keeps going, this is a big ballpark, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. but Adrian's making it this look really small. This one is powdered. Yeah. It's back, 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 and oh, oh, way man. gone. No, it's just a strikeout meter. That, yeah, did he hit the facade? <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh. Four wow. forty-five. See, now look, he's having a blast over there. Yeah, that's yeah. what you got to do. You got to have some fun doing this. Ooh, come on. Get under this one a little bit. It goes a long way. Not Fenway, well, not quite. Yeah, that, that's a home run, Fenway. Hey, what do you guys think about like pitchers that's doing something? Right hitters all get the fun. The home oh, run you, derby. You want a pitcher's home run derby? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be in part of that either because <laughs> that's starters. <laughs> I don't know, like an accuracy, you know, hit Come 10 on. cans or how about, something. How about a long drive? Golf. That, there you go. What you guys do, right? Yeah, we or, might hurt somebody else. Remember with the Braves, though, that was serious That's stuff. Right. Their pitcher's home run derby with Smoltz and Glavin. Six dig the Maddox, long ball. Right? Oh. oh, that is just pounded to right field. Gone. That was on a line. When do you think he's going to swing hard? Um, second round. <laughs> Virtual tracker here is helping you out with the distances at home. 423. I'm actually taping this right now. Good. DVR in it. Oh, I oh want to see man, it. this oh, one is a skyscraper. Go oh, man. Now, Heath, you played with Adrian. You played with him over there at Petco. Did you, like everyone else, go, he's just going to go off now at Fenway Park, going to that field? Yeah, definitely. He has the, the, bat, the batters behind him, and then definitely just the way he has so much power Oppo field with you know Fenway with the wall. I mean he can just flip it over there and get a double or a triple. Now, even his miss hits will hit that wall. Yeah. Now, I just want you to take a look for a minute here as we look at all the photographers yeah, that's down the not, first no, baseline. Well, not, now that's too bright. That's like at a pro am in a golf tournament yes. when the amateur steps up. And I guess that you green do vest, not want to be there. And that green vest is going to deter the ball from hitting them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one won't be a problem for get the out, photographers. Get didn't oh. quite get there. Oh, well, you know what? It's just like in golf. We got professionals. I couldn't hit a golf ball with people on the side of me, but they're not going to pull the ball. I think some like Poppy should just pull the ball and bounce it over there just as gimmick. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Heads up. He might. To throw, throw him like a wiffle ball so he can pull it right at him. Hey, how about the patience he's showing? Huh? huh? That's, oh, will this fair. one stay fair? No, it's no, curving no. foul. Hooked. And hey, what do you think about like uh, pitchers throwing BP? Batting practice. You want him? Well, I think with Adrian Gonzalez at the plate, that's what he th feels during the season at times. Yeah. I, don't know. I, <laughs> I really didn't want to face him in Boston. <laughs> we'll ask Bud Black how he would feel if you just went out there and tossed him BP. <laughs> yeah, for about 50 pitches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now the gold ball is in. $18,000 donation each home run hit when you have one out to go, as Pedro explained it. And they say these balls have a little bit of 24 karat gold in them. They might be worth 150 bucks. Really? How about that? Uh, oh, they're worth See? Really? You yeah. learned something on this show. There's a whole bucket of them, Heath. We can get some. <laughs> I'll run over there with this bat. They don't really mess with me. Oh, get there you oh, go. Oh, there you go. go. Pound into right somebody. center. Gone. Oh, man. 432. Oh, I did more. pick him, didn't I? You, you did pick him. I worth, picked them. They're worth more than $125. It, it, this they're is worth only 18, the first round, guys. Right. Relax. I got to go National League. Much as I like him. I, I, I want to go National League. I really do. But well, uh, it's your, a, that's it's your a, guy, man. Yeah, it's my boy over there. So, Well, you know what? You could still pick your National League team. It is a team and individual. So, Yeah. Well, yeah he okay. can win the individual and the yeah. National League will win a team. 
We're here to, no, we're here to help no you. Thing. Hit the roof. Popped it up, and that will close the first round for Adrian Gonzalez. But an impressive start with nine home runs. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure I'm not guaranteeing it, but I'm pretty like 99% he's going second round. I would agree with you. And now here's here's the one that did it get wet? Let's see. Check it out, fellas. Whoa. Oh, he missed the pool. He went over it. He, went, he hit the lifeguard. He went over, hit the <laughs> lifeguard over on the other side of the jacuzzi yeah, up there, there. There's a backboard there. That was 447. Here it is. Look at this. Oh, that's a line drive. This was a moonshot. Oh. By the way, this is the guy leading the league in batting average, okay? Look how pretty yeah. this right? thing is. Just everything perfect. is so balanced. It's perfect. Yeah, it's a sweet swing. It it's kind of like when I was growing up, Ken Griffey Jr. swing. You right. can break it down all you want. It's perfect. Hey, Heath, have fun. Third All-Star appearance yeah, for thanks. you. Have fun. I, yeah, I'm not going to root on anybody else here. <laughs> well, maybe Matt. <laughs> but I told Matt about the big bat out there. Hold on. Oh, well, there he goes. He, he's the only one I know that can swing it. Yeah, he could probably swing yeah, that Yeah, he can one. swing that. Wow. wow. Look at that. It's still, <laughs> it, it still looks like a toothpick in his hand. So good no, job I, by Adrian I, Gonzalez, no. that is for sure. And so a man with a 354 batting average is nine home runs. And now to lead it off for the National League, if you will, he's missed some time with an appendectomy at the beginning of the year. He also had an injury in May, held him back. But when he stands up there, Matt Holiday can pound it. He can hit it as far as anyone, and he can hit it on a line as far as anyone. And the amazing thing is, his pitcher is his catcher, Yadier Molina, is throwing to him. And look at the shoes. How about that? Remember Doug Sanders on the pro golf tour? I'm dating yeah. myself. But those I, were his shoes. Yeah, I couldn't sport those. Oh, All right, right out of that. Matt game. Holiday's been in a couple of them, so he knows what to look for. And he is looking to start off strong, and he did with a home run. Oh. Fifth time he's been an all-star with Colorado. That was his real jump out when he led the league in RBIs and batting average in 2007 when the Rockies had that great run in September and October made it to the World Series. You wonder, you wonder how difficult it is for a guy with a high leg kick like him to get his timing in, in a you know a 10 swing or 10 out uh, system that he has because you know it seems like th two or three four swings might be tough for him to get his timing. Well, speaking of timing, I mean you. This is what makes the home run derby so difficult is during batting practice if there's a rhythm when you're taking batting practice the, the pitcher is just throwing the ball and you just kind of get that rhythm of that swing here it's one swing let's take a look let's see where it goes now you have to get back in there so it's adjusting your timing with every pitch. Oh, this wow. one is a long way to left field it is gone. That ball went on holiday. As they say in Canada. That'll be in a Pedro Gomez work in the National League and you got a teammate Pedro teammate for the first time you've got to play now with Matt Holiday for the first time in your career. How can you describe his power. Well uh, he's got as much power as anybody I've ever played with and I played with some guys that get the ball a long way so uh, you know he hits in the same BP group as I do during the season and a lot of times I'm embarrassed to be out there with him he's, he puts me in the shade. Now, Albert Pujols has had some injury issues this year, as has Matt. But how much has Matt meant to the Cardinals this year? I don't think you can overstate his importance. I mean, he is, uh, you know, I you know, don't want to sound too melodramatic, but he's extremely important to us and our success. And, you know, when he's in there, it makes a huge difference. Have you ever seen him in the weight room? What is that like? He's just an animal. I mean, he's one of the guys. That, I mean, he's, he's uh, a physical specimen, and he's, uh, you know, as strong as, as anybody in the game. So, uh, you know, I thought he would do very well in this contest and I, and I hope he does. He apparently is. Lance thanks very much for joining us. Wow. Chris back to you. Oh my goodness wow. Pedro Lance thank you. Where did that, <laughs> oh, that one go I, fellas? It was, a line, it was just a line drive. Right over that holiday inside. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Wow. That, that was room service. Not fair. Inn. Not fair. But he's got to get busy here. Only three outs to play with. Needs to find that rhythm you're talking about fellas.
Yeah. Maybe he's going to look for Heath's back, huh? He might, but he, you know, he, that's the issue I thought he would have because he's such a line drive hitter. You know, some of these balls he's hitting so hard they just don't go out. I think if he takes that Adrian Gonzalez swing, well, if anybody would, but nice and easy, they just will carry naturally for him. He doesn't. He's got enough juice in those arms. Not quite. So now the Robinson Cano leaving the cage, getting set. He's on deck. Matt Holiday got to get busy here with the gold ball. Anyway, don't catchers throw the best BP? He threw it pretty well that time. That is way back and gone. So a gold ball home run for Holiday. He has four. You're right. Catchers do throw the They're best the BP. Best. Yes. best BP you get all years from a cat, former catcher, or a, in this case, a current catcher and all star. Oh, this oh, one wow. is absolutely powdered. Oh. <laughs> I, hope, I, I hope Sam Fold was ready for that one because it, it was hey, getting close. They're going to get one up yeah. there. I hope too. I like, well, you guys, them, you, I like you, to see the boys scatter. Well, you know, I asked you the pool. You said the first at bat. How long to the baseball tonight set? Oh. Uh, that's all right. You think about it. And that I, I, won't quite make it. Ricky so Weeks. Ricky Weeks. Matt Holiday ends up his turn at the plate with five home runs. My bad. Yeah, you did awesome. That was terrible. But when he crunched him, he crunched him. Here it is. Here's the 443er. This one was the uh, got the room at the Holiday Inn, right? <laughs> Yeah, that was the one that looked like he got a little deeper and he let it travel a little bit deeper. Look at this swing, the leg kick, but this one he got a little bit more back. He didn't get out in front of it and hook it like he was some of the others. He's hitting line drives that hit the wall. There's where they went. Look at that red one. Look how that trajectory of that one. I mean, it was just a line drive. So nine. Five American League after a batter each. And now we have second baseman in the home run derby. Robbie Cano, Ricky Weeks. We'll be back. MLB at Home is presented by T-Mobile. Here to connect you to what matters most. Learn about T-Mobile's COVID-19 response at T-Mobile.com. Welcome back to Chase Field, where the State Farm Home Run Derby is presented by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. And in part by Toyota. Batters three and four coming up. Here's a look at what's coming up tomorrow here in Phoenix. At 4 Eastern on the Major League Baseball Network, MLB All-Star Red Carpet Show presented by Chevrolet. Tomorrow night, 8 Eastern, the 82nd Major League Baseball All-Star Game on Fox. The guy that's had a lot of homers this year for the New York Yankees is with our Buster Olney. Buster. Chris, I'm here with Curtis Granderson. You're heavily involved in the Players Trust Program. Why is that important? What's its primary mission? It's very important to get involved because we're dealing with high school seniors throughout the United States. We got over 33 schools involved in action teams. And basically what that is is we're trying to show that kids from all different aspects can go ahead and give back. It doesn't take financial uh, obligations or to be a famous person to go out there and get a helping hand, food drives, clothing drives, clean up the parks, dealing with senior citizens, whatever it happens to be, and go to actionteams.org to get your school involved. I'm looking to get some of my local schools in the <laughs> Chicagoland area involved. Over 165 schools in 33 states, including Hawaii. Now, you're among the leaders in home runs in the major leagues. What would you think about participating in this? See those camera guys that are over there? All those guys would be in trouble. I'd be hooking balls over there and hurting those guys. <laughs> so I'm so glad that David Ortiz didn't ask me to do it. This kind of terrifies me a little bit. I got a big camera behind the mound, plus everybody watching me, and they boot Adrian Gonzalez on his first swing that rolled to the pitcher's mound. So I'm so glad I get to watch as a fan and get to see my teammate Robinson Cano go out there. Curtis, thanks. Chris, back to you. All right, Buster, thank you, Curtis. And now we have the second base. How about a pair of second basemen being in the home run derby? First, this is Robbie Cano, 28 years of age, and his dad, Jose Cano, who may have pitched to him some in Grandma's backyard in the Dominican Republic 
is now going to pitch to him in the backyard of Chase Field. How about this? And look Crookie, at that. Yeah, Crookie, what did you see? What did you notice right away? Uh, how great a shape his dad's in. I mean, my gosh. <laughs> look at him. He should enter the Derby. Well, I love what you Robinson. What, I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be Robinson and, 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 and shank a couple and pop some up. <laughs> <laughs> Dad might drill him. <laughs> well, there's one thing about Cano and Weeks, and we're going to welcome in our guest in a moment, our good buddy, uh, is that these second basemen, so you say, eh, home, home run derby, they're not going to. Well, yeah. And there then you, you look at Pull this ball. and you go, oh, wait a minute, is it a splash? Oh, it's my. over You're everything. <laughs> Like we said, second baseman, home run derby. Hello, Robbie Cano. It's the, it's the longest one so far. Oh, oh, that's two. Wow. This is way up there. It's back, 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 gone. This is swing 1A. I take Adrian first. This is 1A. <laughs> if, if Adrian's didn't work, I'd take right. this one. Listen, you can't just take all the best swings. Come on. Oh, no, I, like, got I can't pick one, just too. I like this one. Oh, oh man. There goes the camera. camera. There it is. It's only 50,000. Don't yeah, worry about don't it. Don't worry about that. I'm sure we'll get that back. We yeah. want to. Uh... Wow. This one is up to the space station, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. That's going to hopefully get this crowd going. Meanwhile, we're joined on the set by National League All-Star from the Philadelphia Phillies. Always oh, good good to have one of my neighbors, <laughs> Shane Victorino. Aloha. Thanks, aloha. How's your thumb? Good, it's doing well. All right? Yeah. Fun well, display you, so far. You want, to, you want to explain the injury? Um, actually, <laughs> if you want to go and replay a highlight in Toronto, then I don't really need to explain the injury. Uh, I really don't want to see I, that I, replay ever I, I again. I tell you, what, I saw it, I laughed really hard until I realized you were really hurt. No, that's right. I would have laughed too, so don't, don't feel bad. <laughs> Hey, Shane. I hate that you're out, though. These guys is the second baseman here. I think it's great. I think uh, dad-son combination right there, I think that's pretty impressive. I think that makes for a good story. What do you think? If, uh, I like you it. Know, if Cano can pull it off, I think it'd be great. Well, the concern coming in is when you say someone's father's thrown to him, you wonder the conditioning <laughs> right. of it. You know, can he last if he goes deep into the into the rounds? I don't think this is going to be an issue. I don't think at all. Dad looks like he's in pretty good shape. I don't oh, think my dad would be throwing a BP like this. Well, oh, Robinson almost. says he talks to his dad every day, and his dad dissects his swing if he's able to catch his game. And if he doesn't, he I says, mean, well, what did you do today? And then without seeing him, he can tell him what he did wrong. Wow, that's impressive. I mean, that's, hey, that's what dad's there for. Right, uh, and I'm wondering, is he going to do right now and say, listen, you know, give him a few pointers? <laughs> well, I don't think he has to do that at all right now, so far. Wow, another <laughs> blast. Robbie Cano, it's going 435. Oh, Such a nice oh, oh, it's almost into the roof. This could be it's the right. pool or over. Oh. <laughs> Is that <Jeez>. stupid? <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's gorgeous. I don't know if I, you, <laughs> I, I, I'll let you use that word stupid, I guess, but uh, it's definitely. Let's go to Buster only. Hey, uh, Poppy. It, it, David right? Ortiz, you changed up your lineup just before the start of this. Tell me what your thinking was. I just want to start putting pressure on them guys over there. So uh, Cano told me to move into second because he's an RBI guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Gonzo told me that he would get on base, on base no matter what. So I went like, okay, let's do that. Tell me about your pregame speech to your troops. No, I just told my guys, you know, to take their time. There's no rush. This night is for the home run derby. And the fans come to enjoy that. Why did you think Adrian Gonzalez would be so good at this? Some of the players I talked with said, boy, his batting practice, he doesn't really load up that much. You know, we hit in the same group. And once I hit one, he come in and hit two. So I went like, hey, she go to the home run derby with me. He went like, okay, I'll do it. So here we are. Now, how quickly did you know that you were going to pick Robinson Cano for this team? Well, because when I, I, I was talking to uh, Texera, and uh, he told me, well, Poppy, I would do it if I get selected for the All-Star game. But I let you know on Sunday, the Sunday before. And then at the same time, uh, Cano told me, hey, if he doesn't make it, I would do it for you. That's my boy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> David, thanks. Chris, back to you. All right, Poppy, Buster, thank you. Well, I mean, uh, Batista. Big Poppy and Cano, three-fourths of the American oh, team from the Dominican that Republic. One. And this oh ball may gosh. be headed there right now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Oh my God. <laughs> You're playing center field. Where are you running on that one? I'm going to try and get that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm you, trying to get off the deflection, right. bouncing back at me. Do, do you turn around and clap without oh, your pitcher I, seeing that? I try not to, but <laughs> yeah. I definitely will give it a glance. Absolutely. <laughs> I definitely don't want Halliday Lee or one of those guys oh. chasing me around the field. So, Right. You got to give it a look. Does this go? Not quite. Hey, some nice grabs made out there by these youngsters. Yes, they are. You take a note, Shane? Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, listen. You don't have At least to. Least none of them fell yet. You so. don't have to. You don't have to face your guys, your pitching staff. Huh? That, that's worth about ten points in the batting average Absolutely. right away. Absolutely, definitely low. Definitely nice play behind those guys. Every night watching, I got the best view in center field. So. Isn't it nice when most of them, wherever you position yourself, you know they're going to throw it accordingly. There's only one guy that tells me to play straight up, and that's Oswald. Everybody else is play where, play where I pitch. Oh, it's oh. off the G series sign. These guys. Nomar, what do you think? You think you got some in you? <laughs> I got some in me? Yeah, Not like that. There you go. Look at that. They have to have signs to stop it from going even farther. Jeez. Holy smoke. I'm glad I quit when I did. Yeah. <laughs> well, the one that he hit 472, they say it would have gone had there not been a wall. Right. 493. Those wow. annoying walls, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I can only imagine what the right is going to. I told uh, Kemp, I, I want to see him hit one up by those windows. Can it be done? I you guys used to do it, so I think they can. Yeah, why not? That take me two. <laughs> <laughs> take you two. You know, take me about don't, five. People don't know. They, could you kick a field goal that far? See, people don't know that you're in the Hawaii high school record books oh, yeah, for longest field yeah. goals. I got one forty-eight in high school. Absolutely. This is old home week. Nice. Just when I get that out there, I don't have a chance to. No, you know, absolutely. Talk Thank shop you. that much. <laughs> So Robbie Cano now with the gold ball. He's hit some golden home runs. Adrian Gonzalez has nine. Cano is the third batter we've seen of the eight. This one is a skyscraper, but may not have enough. Wow. Oh, great. Play and how about out that, there. How about that catch? That'll be a web gem. Is Sam Fold on the field too? <laughs> well, what a, on his jersey. Hey, look, that's a great catch, and what an exhibition by Robbie Cano. This didn't take long, did it, fellas? First swing, 459, wow. easy. I'm gonna go with the play. That, that'll be a web gem on baseball tonight. Oh, he just, I, 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 you hit long home runs. I, I look can't imagine. One. Look, one look at the reaction. This is when he gets excited <laughs> about a Yankee doing that. Yeah, that's some <laughs> impressive stuff. And then how about this? This turned a G series sign into a C series. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Well, that's what he did. He hit him long and loud. Wow. What do you think? What do you think, Shane? Way too impressive. <laughs> Makes it look too easy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Get guys. Get All, right. Have a good All right. Thank you very much. Aloha. Aloha. Thanks, bud. So now from one second baseman to another. And they don't get any smaller. Ricky Weeks, who is the sleeper of a lot of the folks that I talked to at the cage. And then I asked John Crook who he likes, and Ricky Weeks. Talked to Prince Fielder before. He said he uh, he can absolutely win this thing. What what got you? Was it the shoes that really convinced well, you, or was it something hey, else? They're all wearing them, though. Well, I, wait I a minute. He's wearing one suit. and one. Yeah, he's got two different colored ones. That's all. I'm just, who did he? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody's missing a left shoe. <laughs> Yeah, so you like Ricky him. Weeks. Who, who do you like, Nomar? I, I like David Ortiz. I think he might defend his title. And I, See, picked, I, uh, I picked Adrian Gonzalez to start it. But I'm old. I don't have any former teammates here playing oh. at it to pick. Oh. So. He just get hit. He, no, he just missed it. Swung in and, and missed it. Oh, no. And this is when you're in your That's first good one. Sign. And you can talk to it, Nomar, right? Yeah, oh, when I'm you're in your first you. one. <laughs> the, look. 
the anxiety that you were going through. Oh, it's so no. hard to explain. Your legs start to shake a little bit. You, they, they start to tense up more than you think. Your arms, and you're just going, I just need to get that first one out. Well, there was a fellow who was a pretty good player, maybe in the Hall of Fame one day, that did, did analyst uh, with us for several home run derbies, Mike Piazza. The reason he did it is that his first two home run derbies, six to three. Six to three, then six to three. He says, the heck with that. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> so it, it can happen to the best, right? Oh, yes. Like I said, it's, it's a whole nother environment. There, he may be on the board, way up towards the roof to left field, and it is gone. Well, you think of the pressure, too, because a lot of people thought Justin Upton should be in this, and why Ricky Weeks? And, you know, he's trying to prove these people, you know, after they booed Prince Fielder in the announcement, you know, this is why I'm here. You got to stick up for your teammate. Well, here's the thing. Now, Sandy Guerrero is pitching, who was the one that pitched to Prince Fielder as well. When he won two years ago, I will pitch to Prince. He's the, you know, coach down at the Nashville Sounds. And so he has the magic touch. Speaking of Prince Fielder, the captain of the National League is with Pedro. It is the captain of the National League. Prince, 07 was your first year in this. You only got three. Tell us what Ricky is going through in his first one. Oh, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's different because, you know, you never. It's different hitting with a. Oh, my God, the kid. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's different because, uh, you know, the, the cage isn't around you, so it's, uh, it's a little different, you know, in, in the, your first derby, but I think he's all right. He's still got uh, four more out, so he should be all right. Now, we heard some boos when you were introduced. Yeah. Are you prepared now to be the new villain in Phoenix because people think you should have asked Justin Upton? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> now, you and Justin are buddies, though. Yeah, Justin's my man. Yeah, there was no hard, you know, nothing personal there. It's just, you know, just got my boy here. All right, but a little more controversy. Sandy Guerrero's out there tossing. David Ortiz wanted him, and you told Sandy, who is a coach for the Brewers, yeah. no, you are not going to be allowed to do Ortiz. Conflict of interest. You can't, can't do it, you know? I mean, Sandy's been my hitting coach since, uh, you know, in the minor league, so, you know, he's got to stay with me. So you said, David, you got to find your own. Well, yeah, because, you know, we're not on the same team, so if, you know, if David were to win, then it'd be, you know, I'd be thinking Sandy was throwing him more strikes than me. Prince, what do you think of the new format of the captains asking? Oh! Yeah! Uh, I think it's cool. I think it's, uh, I think it's awesome how they got to, uh, me and David got to pick this year. and It's a lot of fun, man. It's, uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I just have fun doing it. All right, Prince, thanks very much. Right. Good luck when you're up there. Chris? Pedro Prince, thank you so so much for second baseman I mean, not being able to hit a long ball. Huh? Well, Chris, how big were the our mouths open between Crucky and I after Ricky Weeks just hit the second? It was deck? unreal. <laughs> you know what's interesting? <laughs> Ricky Weeks and Prince Fielder, they were roommates in the minors, and they both hit their first major league home run in the first in the same game, June 25th, 05 against the Twins. What are the odds of that? Wow! Oh. What are the odds of this staying in the park? None. Back, 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 back. Way gone. Wow. So a little late magic, perhaps. I'll tell you what's fun is watching the reaction when the ball leaves the bat and turning over here to our right and seeing Kyle Ripken with his mouth open saying, oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, that guy can hit him, too. But when he's impressed, there's some good things going on. Yeah, getting a little more comfortable, perhaps. That's smart. That's smart. Get, relax. Get your pitch. Carry ball. I got you. Carry. Go, go. Nope. Almost. But that now the gold ball. Ground rule double. Don't count. It's his brother on the A's. Yeah. Yes. Second baseman for the A's. Emil. He was thinking of. They were talking about he Pitching. might throw to him. Yeah. yeah. And I asked him about Fathers, it. Fathers, brothers. Yeah, he goes, I got to save my arm. <laughs> I hitch me. I go, I thought you were going to pitch to him. He goes, ah, it's only so many bullets. We got to make sure we take care. I go, I don't think Oakland would have liked that, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'd want one of my guys throwing BP. Well, so Ricky has three home runs. 
If you're scoring at home, it's 17-8 halfway through the first round, the American League. When he hit him, he hit him, though, fellas. And he powdered him. Look at that one. Second deck. And these are just going high. That might have been his downfall a little bit right there because they were so high. He's used to hitting them line drives out of here. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to lift and separate right. instead of just taking his normal swing, which would produce home runs on the line. So, yeah, tough, tough, tough day. Not a lot, but the quality was impressive. Yes. So here's the major league leader in home runs, Toronto's Jose Batista. He tweets that he hits in that order. 54 homers last year. He's coming up in our State Farm Home Run Derby when we come back. At T-Mobile, we know that connection is more important than ever. So we're making big moves to help those who need it most. Introducing T-Mobile Connect, a prepaid plan to help keep America connected. Starting at just $15 a month, it gives flexibility for uncertain times. Visit T-Mobile.com slash connect to learn more. You can also manage your account and make payments online. Stay connected with T-Mobile Connect. Welcome back, everybody, to the State Farm Home Run Derby. Aerial coverage brought to you by State Farm. Help your favorite charity get to a better state and get yourself to the World Series. Log on to statefarm.com slash go to bat for details. The roof on with temperatures. Actually, they, it dipped today to about a buck two here in Phoenix. And we're thankful for that. Yeah, that we the are. The roof is closed and the air condition is on because well, we sweat a lot, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. It's, this would this, normally be the definition of, the definition of a four-shirt broadcast. Mm -hmm. So he just tweeted that Joey Bats, which is what they call him in Toronto, because out of nowhere, seemingly, 85 home runs in the last year and a half. Well, we have. Sometimes it takes the. BP pitcher, a couple to get loose himself and find his rhythm. Alex. Saw the first one down in the dirt. <laughs> down in the zone. It, it's so important. I'll tell you, they are as, I think pitchers are just as equally as important as the hitter in this. Probably more so right. because, you know, you have to get into rhythm with them. You have to, you know, the velocity has to be as close to the same on every pitch. You know, you miss hit one a little bit, it's not going to go out. These, so th th there's a, so much pressure on these guys. Uh-oh. There's the swing that has That's led to majors. For a year and a half. Did you, Sam did you see was Sam? Ready. He was. He had his glove. That's his job. You th when you th like Carl had his glove up, like, oh, I had it. I yeah, don't, right. I don't, I don't think he did. I wouldn't trust that one nowhere. <laughs> That's gone. Line Look at that one on a line. Oh, my gone. goodness. <laughs> you know, that oh was goodness. no more. Reached there was out. only time for two backs on that. that back, yeah. back on. <laughs> He reached out. That was down the I, I don't even think you got the second one There's in. Two I, think, backer. I think it was a back and a half. <laughs> back, back. That's rip, but that will be an out. So Alex Andriopoulos, the Toronto bullpen catcher, is the pitcher to the major league leader in home runs. This will be foul. So none of us picked the guy that has more homers than anybody in the planet. How smart are we? Well, not very, but so far, <laughs> so far it's... Two, you know, two and two, we're good. Not that we're rooting against him. We want to nope. see him hit a bunch of them. I tell you, it, that first one is so difficult. That first home run derby you're in, because of we keep talking about it, the nerves, the anxiety that goes through you. It is. He hit too quick. Right. And now he got a pull off. Shank went over to over the left in foul territory. Okay. Now he gets jammed, pops that one up, a rollover grounder. This is okay. Is it going to happen again? Now he's going to hit another one, but can he get in a consistent rhythm? Let's talk about the rhythm that he's been in, though, for a year and a half. And there was a great article in Sports time. Illustrated. Joe Poznanski wrote it. Um, Cito Gaston, Dwayne Murphy, the batting coach, others saying, start earlier, and when you think you're starting too early, start even earlier than that. After all these years with his swing. Right. And that, a lot of it is so he can get ready, get that foot down, because he was... By doing that, you're in that position. Now you can see the ball. It eliminates the head movement as well. Mm -hmm. 
and then you can also determine whether you're going to swing or not rather than feel like you have to catch up and what a difference it's made well he said it all of a sudden it dawned on him this is it he knew it this is it here's big poppy giving him some advice as we see that kept down there Buster, only what's uh, cooking over there in the American League? Well, I've got Jared Weaver, who today was officially named the starting pitcher for the American League in the All-Star Game. How did you get that news? What was that like? Uh, I was warming up on the bike. Uh, Socher came in and, and uh, gave me the news and uh, didn't really believe it at first. And, uh, you know, he was telling me he was being serious. And, and uh, you know, it was a great honor. I gave him a big hug. And, and uh, you know, it's uh, uh, never something I would have dreamed of in my entire life. So uh, I'm, I'm taking this all in and just having a good time with it. Now, what's it like for a pitcher? To watch the home run derby. I don't know. I hope they get all their home runs out of the way right now. You know, I, uh, well, the National League in that case. Hopefully, the American League keeps it going for tomorrow. But uh, it's fun to watch these guys. Uh, these are the best, best home run hitters in the league, and and uh, the way they're putting these balls out here, it's. Uh, I mean, it just looks effortless. So it's fun to watch now. But we hope we get them out of the way for tomorrow. What's it like to pitch to this guy, Jose Batista? Uh, you know what? You you don't want to make a mistake because uh, he's going to hit it a long way. Uh, seen it seen it already with my own eyes uh, playing against him, obviously. And, and uh, you know, you just got to try to keep him off balance as much as possible. But he's so balanced at the plate, you know, you make a mistake and uh, he's going to make you pay for it. Jared, thanks. Chris, back to you. All right, Buster, thank you. What an honor to be the starting pitcher in an all-star game. I mean, that's that's an impressive list if you look at that sometime. And, and you talk about the competition between pitchers and hitters and what goes on every day. Well, how about the pitcher saying, well, let's get the home runs out of the way today. <laughs> so there aren't any tomorrow. <laughs> Tell you what, the home run champ of last year and the leader this year, made nine outs in a row he's got 31 homers at the break like we said 54 last year to become the 26th different major leaguer to hit 50 or more home runs in a season and that's how he did it way back gone so a gold ball home run for Batista and you notice that you know he hit the two quick and then all of a sudden his timing and his rhythm got off he looks like he's starting to get back on it if that's fair Chris it's, it's fair. Safe. fair ball for a long home run well, save them for the gold ball if you're going to save them. Right. Very charitable young man. Right. See? Tell you what, if I had a charity, I'd get Curtis Granderson to help me out. <laughs> Whew, is he good? So Bautista trying to come up. He'll pop this one up. So he will end up with four home runs and needs a lot of help to get into the second round. The yeah. top four of the eight will move along. We'll see. But only Ricky Weeks had fewer than him thus far. This was the long one. That's the gold ball, the first gold ball he hit down, right down the left field line. Look at that thing. Second deck, man, that's a dream. Another dream. But there it is right there. You talk about the foot getting out. You see how it got down perfectly while the ball was just entering the hitting zone and then the hands exploded through. That's impressive, but he got out of sync early, and that's why he struggled. Yeah, that out of sync had a little ground ball, some pop-ups. So we've had five of the eight. When we come back, the young star of the Dodgers, Matt Kemp. And then the he's always young, Big Poppy of the Red Sox. Tune in for the ESPYs, the annual celebration of the best moments and performances of the year in sports. That's Wednesday night, live from L.A. Saturday Night Live, Seth Meyers returns as host of the event that honors the achievements of the world's best athletes. The 2011 ESPYs, presented by Capital One and Castrol Edge, on ESPN Live Wednesday at 9 Eastern. We could not have this home run derby without talking about a man who would have won many of them, who we lost this spring. Harmon Killebrew passed away at the age of 74. They broke in with the Washington Senators, but this farm boy from Idaho was the first big star and remains the biggest star of Minnesota Twins history. Eight times he hit over 40 home runs. He was the MVP in 1969, and when he was finished, he hit 573 home runs and was fifth at the time. Harmon Killebrew was a gentle giant. Those that knew him and the entire Twins team and six Hall of Famers attended his uh, funeral right here in Arizona. Those that knew him knew it was everything but about him. He lost a teammate, Danny Thompson, to leukemia, a shortstop of the Minnesota Twins when the Twins' heyday. It was Harmon, without Harmon's name on it, that started the Danny Thompson Memorial Golf Tournament in Idaho in Sun Valley in the 70s. It's running strong after three and a half decades. 
We lost a great man. And we should honor him with this home run derby because he would have won many, fellas. Would have won many. The gentle giant, Minnesota Twins. Matt Kemp, Los Angeles Dodgers, putting it all together this season, fellas. Yeah, and that was the thing with him. When you talk to the Dodgers organization the last couple of years, they said, you know, talent beyond belief, but sometimes lapses in concentration got him in trouble, especially on the base pass. But they said he came in this year with the renewed focus. He wanted to be a leader. He wanted to be the guy on that What's team. Up, and he's putting up the MVP numbers to prove that. Well, I had the luxury of being able to play with him. And you, you talk about those five tool players so much. I think he has like six or seven. He goes beyond that. I mean, he really is a special talent. Matt Kemp with 22 home runs this year for the Dodgers, tied for second in the National League. His 67 RBIs are third in a season which has not been stellar for the Dodgers. So to be up there in RBI says what he's been doing. But again, he's got to find the rhythm, right? First one of these. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You know, you, you, you take two or three, four swings, and you don't get one, and all of a sudden you're like, uh-oh, am I going to get one? And, and once again, you rely on that pitcher so much, and who does he pick? He picks their bullpen catcher, Rob Flippo, and I, when I saw him pick him, I said, great choice, Matt. He is hands down one of the best. I got to, I loved when Flippo threw me BP when I was over there with the Dodgers. He's great. Kemp trying to flip one over, but didn't get enough on that one. You know, he like Matt Holiday, great athlete coming out of Oklahoma. Kemp recruited by University of Oklahoma as a basketball player. Obviously, <laughs> here he is a major league baseball player. Matt Holiday recruited by Oklahoma State as a as a quarterback. So two great yeah, athletes. I, I, I think baseball. what it tells you though is when 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 you see these kids at eight and nine years old and people are telling them. You're going to play one sport, one sport only, and you're going to be a professional at it at eight, nine, ten years old. Just remember, not any guys here just played one sport. Right. They're all multi-sport stars, and that's what you do. You don't, you, know, you don't just, just decide at nine is this is going to be the one. Let the kids it, play them all. They're not great baseball players. They're great athletes, mm. and it takes an athlete to play this game. They Maybe not pitch. Me. We can get on pitchers. No, ah. but even pitchers. <laughs> you hear pitchers who are all state basketball players. Doing playing other sports as well. That's what it takes. Well, Matt needs to get on track here. Six quick outs without one on the board. Wow. It's good. Take your time. Relax. Get one. Get it on the board and go. I mean, we talk about. You talked about Crucky. About how important that BP pitcher is. What do you think makes a good BP pitcher? Consistency, consistent arm angle, consistent speed, and and the four seams with no movement. Well, you get some movement on it. You hate those guys. And I think why catchers make such a good one because they end up going short arm in the ball and they stay over the top as well, which allows the ball to stay straight. You don't want to see that hmm. sinker or cutter coming at you when you're trying to work on something, work on your swing. That wasn't too good. That that one that was in our guys got a tad out in front of that yeah. one. a little bit come on come on dad you can do better than this I know you can see he's not upset really that none have gone out yet no no like not yet not yet now he is <laughs> He got the gold ball with zero on the board. He's yeah. Now he's a little upset. I mean, just one. Oh, just oh, just hit one for charity and right. then go. There's a former teammate. That, that's what Russell Martin just told him. He says, just get one out of the way. Yeah, no there it kidding. is. Get the Gatorade in you. Wow. Yeah, this is for charity. Do it now for charity because right. you ain't in this one for long. <laughs> I mean, what's he going to hit? 10? Unlikely. Just get one, Matt. Just get one. Yeah. Well, he may he have got, got it. it. Go he got it. Oh, it's back there. He it got it. Back, back end. Oh, Solid. Oh, oh, my goodness. goodness. Wow. Well, <laughs> okay, I, I got to wonder if you hit it that far, that has to count for two. 
Shoot, that Russell's going to come out there and pitch. Yeah. Huh? What's in that? Buster, only what's going on? Hey, guys, as he was making outs, got to eight and nine. Adrian Gonzalez and Russell Barton were screaming to him, and they wanted him to just slow down. And after he did hit that first home run, Adrian Gonzalez raised his hands over his head and clapped. But I wonder if Big Poppy will say the same. He's trying to win this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think for that one, you clap. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. That didn't hit the back of a wall. It hit the back of a wall. The problem was it was in almost the third deck. Good Lord. Poppy hitting in the cage, and here is there Kemp now all of a sudden finding the rain. Maybe he can go for 10. And maybe he can see the gold ball a little bit better than the white one. <laughs> I don't think the commissioner is going to throw that one into play. <laughs> but maybe Matt Kemp can make a request. Hey, nothing's gone well for the Dodgers all year. Maybe he'll do this. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, and he has those shoes, too. I don't know. It's not working NL thus far, is it? Ah. Well, two for charity. We'll take it. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. So, thus far, the American League leading 21-10 as Matt Kemp took him a while to get going. When he did with the gold ball, wow. 36,000 for charity, at least. And no one more relieved than Matt Kemp. Right. You, you're going over. Look at that. Going over. Yeah. There you go. Oh, the little hop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! <laughs> well, while Kemp sits. Now we got the captains. Big Poppy, the defending home run champion here, the State Farm Home Run Derby, and then followed by Prince Fielder. Here's what we've done thus far. Adrian Gonzalez at nine, Robbie Cano eight, impressive. Matt Holiday five, Batista Weeks, Kemp, not so much. And now David Ortiz and Prince Fielder Coming up. So now comes the smiling, as we said in the open. A man whose smile can light up every stadium. And David Ortiz was, you and he were teammates for a year and a half. And, and always smiling, you're right. And it's such, it's so infectious. It's so big. I mean, I saw him today before that, yeah, last year before the home run derby. I, I picked him to win it only because I said, oh, I looked into his eyes. Today, I told him the same thing. I said, hey, I go, let me see your eyes. They were big. He was looking at me, and he, he doesn't know how to do it without smiling. We know he's so intense, but he had a big smile with it. And I said, all right, I'm picking with you. I'm going with you, David. What? I want to defend your title. Well, he wasn't smiling the other night when he was playing Poppy Balboa out there <laughs> against the Orioles. Well, that was another story. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, though. He's got Robinson Cano's dad throwing BP yes. to him. This is Yankees Red Sox. Well, I don't care if you're on no, the same no, team. No, 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 they're the same team now. No, they're not. Well, they are tip for this. When when he Dominican won his bat, Republic, hey, when baby. he won his championship last year in the home run derby, Tony Pena pitched to him. Right. And then he was with the Yankees, and you know, and what Tony Pena said, hey, this oh, is about boy. the fans. This isn't a Red Sox Yankees. For thing. these two days, it's okay. We're changing. We're changing. For these two days. <laughs> you know what some of the beauty is, and we're going to work in. Crocky, you got sitting next to you while we watch a veteran like Big Poppy. Some of the new names we get to know as well. Well deserved All Star Andrew McCutcheon, a late add to the team. Congratulations first. What what did you feel like when they said you're an all-star? Oh man, uh, it, it was it felt very good. It felt very good. It, they they uh, hurdle my manager. He told he told me, uh, you know, during the game when we're playing the Cubs. Uh, did you go deep after that? Uh, I got walked after that. Uh, so, <laughs> but uh, all of a sudden they, they changed they're, a little bit. Like, an Wait a minute, they walked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's absolutely. Give it, give it four. But yeah, it, it was definitely a good feeling. Uh, the, the, the fans acknowledged me, and it, it was just, it was just a moment uh, I can really cherish. When Clint Hurdle took over as manager in his press conference, when they announced him as the new manager of the Pittsburgh Pirates, he said, "We're going to win, and we're going to win now." When you're a player and you're looking, I said, "What would make you? What would possess you to say that after the few years we've had here?" Oh man, that, that's just the way that he, that he works. That's just how he is. He's the type of guy 
uh, he's a very optimistic guy, regardless of the situation. Uh, you know, he, he's going to be he's going to be very optimistic. He's very positive all the time, and uh, that's something that we needed as a team to to move forward. Is it, someone like him, and uh, you know, it, it was definitely able. It, it, he, he started it off for us, and it, and it was good. And uh, we we we're winning now. And it, it's but it, isn't it nice when the manager puts the onus on the players and say, "Okay, I said it. Now go do it," and <laughs> you're doing it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy how it works, but uh, it, it's good that it's working that way. And uh, you know, it, it's just it's just about uh, you know just having faith that we can do it, believing in ourselves, and that's what we've done uh, over the course of the first half. Don't hurt that big guy in the bullpen throwing 99 yeah. either, does it? Oh, it, it definitely Hammer doesn't. Man. I know. It definitely doesn't. You, know, you guys have such a nice park, Andrew, and now the people are coming because you, you know there's a lot of excitement. That's oh. a beautiful park. It's a gem in, in baseball. A lot of players, a lot of fans nationally don't know about it. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it's it's one of the best looking parts in in, in baseball, I believe. Uh, and I, I believe a lot of people can back me up with that one, but. Uh, it, it, when, when you have fans to, to come in with that, it, it, it's unbelievable. Well, now you get to sit here as an all-star and watch Big Poppy in a home run derby. I mean, here's a guy I'm sure you've admired from afar for a long time. And and oh, now yeah. you're here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It, it, it's awesome just to be able to watch this and to be a part of it. Uh, you know, it, it's one of those things I'm going to have to. It's, it's, it's hard to soak in right now because you're living and it's going so fast. But uh, when you're able to calm down and. You're able to just kind of breathe it all in, and it, it, it's very exciting. Now, well, Big Poppy is his fifth home run derby. He won, as we said, the last one. He won a Midwestern League home run derby. Uh, once we all have. Time. So this is his <laughs> element. He's got to get going, though, huh, Omar? That it's he does. Now. now he's taking a breather. There's Prince he's taking his time. Once again, it's all about that rhythm with the pitcher as well. And he's... Well, he's making those photographers nervous. He really it. is. Maybe Buster only can get a teammate to talk some sense into him. That's right. I'm here with Kevin Euclid. And Kevin, you're in the same hitting group and batting practice every day with Adrian Gonzalez and David Ortiz. What's that like? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, every day uh, wow. I, I get to you know lead the group out there and uh, get it ready and uh, just watch these guys and sit back. And Adrian and David are both unbelievable hitters and. Uh, you know, watching uh, Adrian this year and how he can drive the ball out of the opposite field, and, and David's actually done a lot more of that this year and going to left field and using the opposite field. It's been a lot of fun to watch both grow on each other, and uh, it's great to see them both here in this uh, home run derby. And uh, hopefully, they can bring it home for us. How seriously was he taking this? Uh, I, you know, I think David kind of enjoys it all. He's it's being a DH and all that. He doesn't have to worry about playing in position. So. The home run derby and hitting home runs is, is a lot of fun to him and having D'Angelo here to cheer him on and, and his daughter Alex and it's a lot of fun for them so uh, it's a great family environment and, and you know uh, with with Adrian you know I don't know I didn't know he was really into this home run derby thing but uh, I think he's really enjoying it. Kevin thanks Chris back to you. Buster you thank you very much not see a big pop you can get going here fellas I mean he's got four that's uh, not the form that that won this thing last year but. Stepped out, taking a breather, measuring. Would you ever do this? Would I? I, I would give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sound too confident there. Yeah, Andrew. Wait a minute. I definitely I, try to spot. Sorry. I, I definitely give it a shot. You know, hey, there's nothing wrong with hey, that. You're gonna get put on the spot. You're a game out of first place. It's time. Let's go. You're gonna be asked these questions. Mm. Oh yeah. Snap decisions. That's what we like. Snap decisions. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only down now we're only one out left for Big Poppy. I tell you what I wouldn't want to be in this home run derby is a first baseman. Oh, right. Some <laughs> balls are rifling. Oh, right. Those photographers are there. They're still stand. They're still there trying to take pictures. Uh -huh. Team conference. Now I like the players are going over to the captain saying, "Hey, calm down, big guy." Are they going to run? Did you understand? Yeah, I did. Yes. They're yeah. running 65 yeah. toss power trap. Yeah. <laughs> Poppy's leading. He's a pulling guard. What's he got? Four? No more. We got to get him. I guess. Well, that would be five. Yep, there there we go. Yikes! What's the farthest one you've ever hit? Uh, I really don't know, but it's definitely 
Four, hadn't been as far as these guys have been hitting them. 450, 460? Maybe, if that. <laughs> I mean, uh, as long as it goes over the wall. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> three, so, you know, three, 350 what, counts as made? Before is four they asked me, they go, how you know far, what? what's your farthest? No more. I said, what's down the line? 293, 294. That's it. <laughs> you know, five might. It he might be chance. enough. Right, that might be it, it might be enough. We'll see. Right now, he's tied with. Matt Holiday for third at five. So he's at least in a bat off, if you will. That's just beautiful. Four fifty two, boys. Four fifty two. What is I wanna know what that feels like just once. A few things you wanna feel. That means hit, hitting it, going to get and hitting it again. Right. Look at that. Wow. That's Andrew McCutcheon like. He'll be in a home run yes, derby. He will. He's well, gonna be an we, all-star. We here. He's gonna be an all-star for a lot of years. Yes, He'll be right. in one. He'll exactly. be in one. Andrew, right? congratulations. Thank congrats, you guys. Congrats, I really appreciate Andrew. it. Andrew. Well deserved. Enjoy right. the week. Thank you. Enjoy it out here. Well, we've seen everybody but the captain of the home National League, Prince Fielder. You know he wants to put on a show here in Arizona. MLB at Home is presented by T-Mobile, here to connect you to what matters most. Learn about T-Mobile's COVID-19 response at T-Mobile.com. Two years ago, Prince Fielder won it in St. Louis. And they're booing him because they didn't pick Justin Upton, and that was written in the paper. But I got to say, I've done close to 20 of these, and every year the paper writes, well, how come our hometown guy wasn't in it? This year, because one of the players got to pick, you could say, well, they know who made the selections. But hey, look, he put together a team that he's hoping to win for the National League, and I don't think he's really a villain. By the way, no, might no. spur him on right here. What do you think? Well, he has that ability in him to when all the chips are down and against him, he's liable to rise up here and put on a show. And I hope he does because the, I, I, you know, people don't know the background or the, back, the, the behind the scenes stuff. How do you know what he did and ask, you know, with Justin Upton? Well, I think he's going to put on a show right here and turn a lot well, of things like end it, please. Well, that's, that's how you start. You yep. want to get these fans on your side. Now, Prince, one of 26 players in Major League history to author a 50 home run season, which he did in 07 with the Brewers. Uh, Prince also has Sandy Guerrero, the, the hitting coach of the AAA Nashville Sounds, for the Brewers system, pitching to him, who pitched to him two years ago when he won it. And how about being a, you know, AAA and then being at the All-Star game. I mean, that's, uh, you don't see this many people that much. I know Sandy is thrilled as well. Well, and you know, it, it shows great respect for, yep. for what he's done with him throughout his minor league career as his hitting coach, like he said earlier. You know, to bring him here, to honor him with, you know, a, an All-Star appearance, he's getting the uniform and the whole deal. I, I think it's a great, great thing that these players do. Did you see that? that went I mean, out. that was higher than a Ray yes. Guy punt. Yes. I mean that Ray was that, good call. I mean that was well that was played. a fair catch. Oh, oh well, there's nothing goodness. fair about that. Look at this. Oh my. These are moonshots. Gone. Oh. Like we said. Okay, you're gonna boo me. Let me take care of it. Oh. Might as well put on a display. Well, some of the other long blasts have been of the line drive. These have been <laughs> total he missed, arcs. He Dead center that. field. Does this have enough? No, nah, he missed it, but it's going to hit ooh, <laughs> base of the wall. Yeah, right at the track, 407. If this was 2,000 feet, that would have been out, right? <laughs> Another exactly. seven feet. <laughs> well, that won't. Well, I don't know. He hit well, one like that last time we thought. I don't, I don't know, and it went out. Think. Look at this. Oh, oh, wow, that quite. just well, barely missed. What. Those those poor kids underneath uh, that ball, man. I, if you I were out there, no, right. no. I'm In my playing go. days, I didn't like them that high. <laughs> I'm letting those go. Huh? I didn't was, get that one either. That's what's great about shortstop. When I, they were hit that high, I was in command, and I say you got it, and you had to listen. Well, I was. I just. <laughs> I just looked right to the second baseman. 
So Prince Fielder trying to take his time, trying to size things up. He knows his National League team is way behind 26-10. If he's going to get in it as a team, he's got to get in it himself. Three more. Three more to get in. Can't have three of three American League guys in there. Yeah, then I would say nope. turn out the lights. Well, yeah, it would look good for the American yeah. League. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Come on, print. Watch your lips over here. Yeah, that one didn't go the way Prince wanted. That was more of the raspberry beret variety. Oh, Not yeah. that one. Wow. Sent way back toward the pool. Back, back, wow. back, back. Gone. Oh. That thing looked at the pool and laughed. Pool, yeah, it did. Yeah. Over. Oh, my goodness. The, the, yeah, the people in the pool just got their, <laughs> just was looking up. Yeah. Straight up, oh, that's yeah. way out of here. Too high, We're too not, high. Yeah. What do you mean too high? <laughs> That's a strong human being. When we were on the bus tour, we he came out and talked to us. I mean, he, that's a thick, thick man. I mean, he is a big, big guy. Well, he was not tall, big. It said that at one year old, he had, he weighed 50 pounds. Now that's what I read. I can't believe that. Well, I don't I, I don't know, but I'll tell you one of the good stories is they had they had at the Brewers they had some of the coaches and some players address the team at spring training. He's going oppo on our oh, set. Oh my goodness, he did go after the oh, set. He wow. went above it. He that went above it all the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> fellas? <the> way. <laughs> 409. Oh. God. Look at them. Was Sam there? Did Sam catch Where that one? Where was Sam? Where? We had to put on Sam elevator Sam probably shoes. goes. Wait a minute, it's a lefty. Yeah, He's pulling everything. Yeah. No. Sam went over by the pool and he. Prince just said, "No, nah, we'll wow. go this way." Oh man, these are skyscrapers. Well, you were you were saying about he was 50 pounds. <laughs> now, well, Jerry Naren addressed the team, who's a coach for the Brewers. And when he addressed the team, he was talking about one of the highlights in his career is he went upper deck at Detroit, at old Detroit Stadium. And then he said, yeah, Prince said, yeah, I did that when I was 12. <laughs> when he would take BP with his wow. dad at Detroit. And you believe that? <laughs> I don't doubt it. I don't. I don't either. Now both father Cole and son, Bob. Cecil and Prince in the 50 home run club in one season. Two of the 26 that have ever done it. Ah. Might need Sam Fold over here, fellas. We're right behind bat off. We are going to have a bat off. Swing off. Swing, Swing off, off, bat off. off. Bat off. But. Boris batting off. So, Prince with five. So what we have, we'll explain it in a moment. Look at how far this one went. 435. They backed off and hit it only 430. This is 430, but how high did it go? I think it went 500 high and 430 far. 452 feet. Well, this is Chase Field, and it chased a bunch of people out there. They did, and look at this. Look at the torque, his yeah, lower. Wow. Look at how far he goes to follow through. That is such a violent swing, but they call it a controlled, aggressive swing. Look at the it's height, amazing. though, <laughs> Truly look at amazing. the height, though, no. oh, To hit it look, that far is at, one thing. Look, to hit it that high and that far. And then where did the other one go? The opposite that field opposite one was impressive. Yeah, well, he, he's reaching a par fives and two, boom. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's carrying it over all the water. Now, here's what we have. Adrian Gonzalez has moved along with nine. Robbie Cano has moved along with eight. But two of these three players, Matt Holliday right here, David Ortiz and Prince Fielder, they all have five. Two of these three will advance out of this swing off, if you will, in which you get five outs. This total doesn't count toward everything else. Now five outs, five swings. Yeah. Five, five swings, swings. not sorry. outs, but five swings total. So you can't get in the rhythm and keep hitting a bunch of home runs. You just have five swings, and we'll see who has the most out of those five. So there are your rules for your tiebreaker. This we I don't think we've ever had two 
Out for two spots. Oh my goodness, this is a long Goodbye. way. Goodbye! That's just, yeah, you just can't imagine. I mean, just, you have to be here. You have to, have to <laughs> witness this display. So three swings left, one homer. That was going to be tough to get out. Even I could see low. That was low. <laughs> well, you don't have to swing. You I know. To take them. That there ball is smoked, and it's gone. <laughs> so Holiday yeah, with it. two. That's it, two. Yep. See, they're trying to understand a little bit, but yeah, that's your five swings. And five you got two. swings. So he got two. Literally five swings. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so now David Ortiz. Will have to at least get two on his five swings. Three will move him forward. Buster Olney. Guys, you should see the scene on the American League side. Adrian Gonzalez talking to a Major League Baseball official, asking about the rules, trying to get an interpretation. They are totally into this. You guys saw the huddle with Ortiz before. What all the players are saying is get at least five, and they thought that it would be a give them a chance to essentially wrap this up for the American League. Well, it might, Buster. We'll see. Big Pompey taking his time. Goes the other way, but while that might be a be wall short. scraper in Baston. <laughs> so, sack fly. Oh, yikes. Wow. That ain't. That oh, my goodness. Yikes. Oh, my goodness. That'll score goodness. a couple. Big Pompey with, uh, remember, 54 homers. Back in 06 to break the Boston Red Sox record held by the legendary Jimmy Fox 50 back in the 30s. And how many clutch hits have we seen out of him? It's almost Yikes. to the point. Look at this. That's another oh. line drive. That is unbelievable. Yeah, if there was a man at second, he might have been able to jump and catch that. Normal people, the right fielders running in and making a grab. Wow. Oh. This one is oh. way back. It is Ooh. gone, and he's on to the next round. That's our first three in a row tonight. How about that? That's unusual. That knocks out Matt Holiday, unfortunately. Oh. National League are down. Well, doesn't Cecil, I mean, I mean, <laughs> doesn't Prince still have to hit as well and take his five swings and beat Holiday? So Big Poppy hits another one, which he didn't need, but it's like, I'll be That's seeing funny. you soon. Just for fun. So Big Poppy, he's moving out of the second round. And look, there are the teammates. Team Dominican Republic, really, huh? Well. Well, these guys were getting warmed up after that first round. Some of these guys, you don't want to give them a second round because they can put on a display. Well, here's what we do know. Well, first of all, we know that Big Poppy has not lost a thing. You know, these last two years, he looks like the mid-2005, 2006, 2007 Poppy, huh? And, we, and it was there. I'd seen it before, and it was a matter of time. And Couple years of slow starts, and everyone said he's done. He need he needs to re retire, and people need they they need to trade him, get rid of him. How did you pay him? Now this year, it's a show. I mean, he's putting on a show every single game. Speaking it, of a show, yeah. back, back, back. Oh, oh, oh my everything. <laughs> and, 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 oh my gosh! If you see these guys over here on the National League side, look at these guys: Brandon Phillips, McCutcheon, Ricky Weeks, Matt Kemp. Uh, you impressed your peers. Yes. That's well, a beautiful thing. It'll either be Prince Fielder or Matt Holiday advancing. If Prince gets three, he'll be the one. And the lone, that will be a, a tough one. The lone National Leaguer left to try to stave off these AL. Oh, my goodness. Look at this Look ball, at this and it is fair, and it's gone. 
That's the, but he was giving a little body language at yeah. home, going, stay fair, stay fair. I about didn't have enough time to hook. Oh. <laughs> one more homer, and he moves up. I can explain snap hooks to you. That wasn't one. It looked like he was getting over here. He looked over to the side looking. How's my step? How's my balance? He was looking at his teammates over here and they were giving him tips on how to swing. Just needs one. It'll be Adrian Gonzalez. Robbie Cano. David Ortiz and oh Prince God. Fielder. Oh. Gone. Oh. <laughs> that sign needs some State Farm insurance. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh my gosh. But they should tell him he doesn't need to do this here. Well, you you were saying we were giving respect to Harmon Killebrew earlier and talking about it. Well, he gave respect there. He hit his silhouette, and everybody saw that right there nice at the State job, Farm. No, Mark, very good. I mean, this is just for fun now. Oh, He's moved why along. Why not? Oh man, Let's it's back, this. back, 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 back. God, fought that one off. Got in, a, got in a little bit. He gets five swings. That's it. Five swings. He's <laughs> this isn't about outs right now. Yeah. This is great. I think I hope the fans realize, like you said, he doesn't have to keep going. This is just for, for all of us to see. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Prince. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> Five swings, five homers, <laughs> and that swing off Prince was king. I think he got the fans on his <laughs> side. No one's booing there. Yeah, boo that one. Yes, boo Told that you. one. That's it. it. That's it. the way you do it. That is special. That's that is a special moment. What, what hurts more, the ball or his back? I'm saying the ball. Well, how about this? Do you want to know that why these guys have won the home run derbies the last two years and why they're team captains? Ten swings, nine home runs for Fielder and Poppy. Enough said. Look at this. Wow. So the two captains and Adrian Gonzalez. Robinson Cano three from the AL and only Prince to try to kind of like Davy Crockett and the boys in the Alamo trying to fight him off. Well, he has big hot. shoulders and they're like they're going to need him. Yep. Well, amazingly still safe up in our baseball tonight set. Carl and the gang some anxious moments though, huh, fellas. Yeah, there were a couple. If we didn't have a screen on uh, on the roof here, I think we'd be in trouble. But uh, I think we needed Fielder to do what he just did there. I think that's a big, big bonus. And we're going to have another left-handed winner, given all four guys are lefties that are left. Well, it's certainly you hear the fans get into it a little bit. If Justin Upton isn't in the competition, the next best thing is the guy who did not allow him into the competition. They get a little riled up when Prince is up there. Let him get excited about it. And they saw some fabulous hitters. A gone was gone. When, that was when did he hit? That was beautiful. beautiful first, but what about the power of Robinson Cano? I think that was the most impressive thing to me. The first guy coming out, Gonzo, hit nine, and then Robin, Robinson Cano with that display of power, unbelievable. So how does it play out? The sweet swing of Adrian Gonzalez or the thunder of Cano, Fielder, and Ortiz? I still have Prince. You, what you saw on the swing off is what I think you'll see later in this competition. It was a way to send us to a commercial break and look forward to round two of the 2011 State Farm Home Run Derby. We have gloves, but we got four lefties. I'm not sure we're in too much danger anymore. Looking forward to what's coming up ahead. Gonzalez set the bar high with nine, and then the power guys took off. Cano, Ortiz, and Fielder, the State Farm Home Run Derby, continues after this. At T-Mobile, we know that connection is more important than ever. We've increased network capacity, given more access to unlimited data, and provided free data for schools and students. Visit T-Mobile.com to learn more. You can also manage your account make payments, and find T-Mobile stores that are open near you. We've been asking, are you with us? 
but we want you to know that we're with you. Oh, this one is to right center field. In the pool. Yes. Is it? Yes. yes. You called it. That's it. Wait a minute. Is it a splash? Oh, it's my. over yeah. everything. Sent <laughs> way back toward the pool. Back, 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 back. Gone. Oh, that thing looked at the pool and left. This one is way back. It is <laughs> gone. And he's on to the next round. That first round recap is brought to you by the new movie Captain America in theaters July 22nd. So here we go. The way this is going to work, we have three American leaguers and Jess Prince Fielder from the National League. But since this is the National League home park, we go ascending order. So Big Poppy with five in the first round. Robinson Cano with eight in the first round. Adrian Gonzalez with nine in the first round. We'll bat one, two, three. Then Prince Fielder National League with five will bat fourth. Now, the totals of the first round add to the totals of the second round, and that produces our two finalists. So Robbie Cano's dad. Continue. Jose Cano is going to pitch to Big Pop. Continuing the throw. He threw, to, he threw to Big Poppy his last yep. one. And yes, he, and how did that work? And it worked out great. I tell you, if I was in that kind of shape, I'd want to be out there a lot, too, so people can see me. <laughs> but David said, wait, I just batted, then Prince, then I batted, then Prince oh, batted, yeah. now I bat again. That's I mean, this is like taking yeah. your reps in the cage, right? right. Adrian, Adrian Gonzalez hadn't been out there in a while. Right. I mean, That's first gonna hitter of the whole thing, and it's gonna he hurt hasn't him. sniffed the batter's box, and it's got to be close to an hour, right? Well, at least. Maybe I don't tell time. Oh. An hour and a half. That's well, I'll tell you what. Look at David. You can tell time by this. God. Those photographers are still over there, huh? Crucky? They're brave people. They're brave people. I'm standing there. I wouldn't stand there with a glove on. So David Ortiz doesn't quite get that one. Big Poppy with 368 lifetime home runs. 12 postseason home runs. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like, he the, doesn't music. like the music. He doesn't like the music. Well, we have the power. Don't we have the, doesn't I, he have the power I, to change? Da I think David does. I mean, your name's Big Poppy. All right. Oh, because he had asked probably, sound like he might have asked for some music. There it is. <laughs> That's what it was. It's the music. Did you ever have guys take a radio and hear, hear music while they're taking batting practice in, in the tunnel? No. No? Guess what? Think. Well, it's a new th hit tune. Th there it is. This it is works. why you should have. It's worked. If you had done it, this is what you get. I'm not sure country music plays in a home run derby. <laughs> That's all he needed. Look at him. It. It's a little That's skyscraper it. by Big Poppy. Gone. Look out. You know, I think of those, those shots over to the right side on the ground. Remember, well, he was a Red Sox a long time ago. George Scott used to wear Boomer, yes. the original Boomer. He uh, he had this, this stuff hanging on his neck, and they, they asked him, what's hanging on the necklace? Second baseman's teeth, he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't get to that one. And you're right, and, and David would have a few as well. Yes, he, yes. You're right. Yes. Quite a few. That's the point. And first baseman. Maybe we need to make even change again. And even right fielders. Right. <laughs> All right, so he's got three homers. Give him a total of eight. Got five outs to go. 
needs to get moving because he knows Gonzalez and Cano were at nine and eight before they even hit the plate. Gets under that one. Let's go over to the American League side and Buster Oldie. Adrian Gonzalez, David Ortiz asked for a change in music. Explain that. Well, uh, you know, we hit to a certain kind of music every day at home uh, in Boston, and, uh, you know, it just gets us going, and, uh, you know, he loves he loves certain kind of music, so that music they were playing out there won, won uh, his rhythm, and so, uh, you know, he needed the right kind of music to uh, start hitting those homers. You guys are totally into this. Yeah, no, he's... Uh, He's definitely uh, put us in the right place and uh, you know trying trying to win it. Now this is the second time you've been in a home run derby. What's the difference first time to second time. Well the first time I didn't take my time. I didn't make sure I got a good pitch to hit and uh, I swung a lot of pitches that uh, you know I should have taken. So uh, this time Poppy made sure that he told everybody hey you know we got all the time in the world make sure you swing at a good pitch. Adrian thanks Chris back to you. All right Buster Adrian thank you like you said uh, John he hour and a half since he's hit but he's watching his teammate and. I'm sure he's enjoyed immediately coming to Red Sox. How about, Nomar, you know what it's like. Everything is chronicled in Boston. Took him about three weeks. First three weeks, oh, what's wrong with Adrian Gonzalez? Well, answer nothing. <laughs> exactly. It was kind of funny. Guy hitting over 300, and what's wrong with him? There's absolutely <laughs> nothing wrong, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, he, that's, you know, and, he, and, he only got his 16 home. What, what's his problem? Right. You know. But at the same time, you know, it didn't phase him one bit. And now they're really getting to see exactly what Adrian Gonzalez is all about. Big ah. Poppy sends this way back up there, and it is gone. Our holiday in distance tracker. Well, David ends up with nine right now. So you never know. You never know. It doesn't, you never it doesn't know. look promising. Hey, Adrian Gonzalez has been Better sitting a long that. time, like I you said. That. Don't think he's going to get an 0 for and I don't think he is either. No. But Robbie Cano has been sitting a long time. Robbie Cano, there you go. He could get one. Right. But I don't think so. I, because his dad's going to be throwing, and he's yeah. not going to accept that. <laughs> Look how far that one went. 447. The music changed, and look at this. It's, Why not? It's just not fair. Right center. It's not fair. More center field than right center. That's why he's big poppy. Well, there's that bat that Heath Bell had with us. They're sizing it up. What do you think? He fell. Now, I know about using the leaded bat, you know, in the old days to warm up. Right. That's a little much. That's too much. I don't, that, there's, we often say we need to swing the bat. We can't let the bat swing you. That would swing you. Or the, the donut that you put on, that right. would be a dozen donuts, <laughs> right? <laughs> then getting your hands around it. Although, when Matt Holiday grabbed it, he grabbed it like it was a normal bat. And that's and, scary. And check the weight. Yes. You know. Yeah, he the, was thinking the, the whole I wonder check if I, the weight thing. <laughs> right. Like, Can I there was, but there up? was actually a thought in his head that he might be able to <laughs> use that thing. You're but right. Robbie Cano is our next man up. And Dad will pitch to Son. So Robinson Cano, one of the many, many, many major leaguers from San Pedro to Macariz. I mean, Sammy Sosa, of course, was from there. But for a while, it was all the shortstops, yeah. right? And, uh, and Robinson had to move to second base because there were so many. Tony Fernandez, who was about, hey, look, you played the position, and I'm going to mention, I know Ozzy Smith, I know there's Omar Vizquel, Tony Fernandez now, as far as slick fielding. Oh, he was so pretty. He was pretty. about as smooth. Right? Oh, my goodness. And then it, the way he would throw, it looked like he would just throw it underhand, yeah. that sidearm, the way he just whip it over there was incredible. You're right. With velocity, but, too. Oh, my goodness. And yeah. then let's see but, who else is from San Pedro. Uh, Fettuccini Alfredo Griffin. And then all the second basemen were from there, right? I mean, He's bringing up guys that played for the Blue Jays. At Soriano, Peterson World Series. Thanks, George, thanks. George <laughs> Bell didn't play for them but at the time. No. Wow, he'd have beat us, too. What the heck? <laughs> Juan Samuel. A lot of, I mean, I think, what is the, how many major there leaguers? You go. Anyway, there it is. Take Look your time. That. This take, would be a major oh. league blast. Take wow. your time. You don't want to start I mean, early. I mean, how great it is to have your father pitching to you because, I mean, he knows you best. 
I know that was it for me as well. I used to call my father every day, and he knew my swing even when he didn't watch it. And he threw great BP as well. Really? So, yeah, both my brother and I loved it. Yeah. So, oh, oh, we're very four, fortunate. 0 oh for 4, who pitched? Oh, you must have rolled over a couple <laughs> times. You no kidding. <laughs> That old summer, those you didn't have to guess so much that, with those. That was your problem in the derby. That was my you problem. I didn't have. My, I, I should have brought my father mm -hmm. when I did, was in the derby. I'm sorry, Dad. So Robbie Cano is at the four longest ones <laughs> thus far here at Chase Field. That is long, but not quite long enough. What a thrill for these youngsters making those catches out there, huh? And then we already singing. see we already seen one web jam. Well, you saw out there. David Ortiz change his music. Robbie Cano decided he's going to bring his own. He's singing up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's rhythm. Oh, there you oh go. this Goodness. is powdered way back. Wow. That's the Scottsdale. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he just he needs to sing some more. <laughs> He's telling his dad to throw it. He's he wanted to see it. Because his dad held up and saw, thought he was taped, saw him taking. Wow! Goodness. Back, 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 back. Way oh back. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> over the G series. Forget the G series. He went top that. Z series. You're right. Wow. I mean, look at the expressions on the players' faces. Ah, oh. priceless. It is priceless. Well, on his dad, Jose pitching to him, named his son Robinson. If you don't know the story, after Jackie Robinson. That's why his son wears number 24, the 42 yes. inverted. Almost. Wow. Right, there's still only one who's wearing it. There's only one person who's his wearing it, and it's his teammate. Yep. Yeah. And I don't. So you can't really take it off his back. No. <laughs> but that's it. And no then, one else at, will ever wear it. There you go. Got others warming up. Couple well, years. Prince, huh? Couple years he'll be in this competition. Hope we're covering it. I mean, Robinson Cano does have a pretty swing. It's like the way he glides into the ball, but his hands are always back and his weight's always back. Even though he's going, seems like he's going moving forward, his weight's always back and them hands just are just special. That bat angle going through the zone. Oh. Hey, Russell Martin. Russell Martin's a drink guy today. <laughs> yes, he is. Serving yeah. him up. <laughs> Sir. Well, it is. I mean, it's. Is it still happy hour it's, here? It's, it's about it's, 7 o'clock. It's always happy hour yes. in Arizona. Yes, Both. it is. When it's 102, yes. Got to make sure that whoa. He's got to start singing. He's got to start singing. As soon as he sang, I, start I, singing, I, well, he hit bombs. I hope he knows more lyrics to the song of whatever he get was away, singing. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Yeah. Now he's talking to himself. Get away, get away, get away. I don't know what that means. <laughs> talking to you, Crook. There There's the song. So get yeah. away. Ooh. Six outs. So four outs to go here for Robbie Cano. 11 is in pretty good shape. And this is smart right now. Taking it uh, so often when you're in this situation, you're like, okay, I'll just keep swinging and they'll come rather than you got to step out, really gather yourself because it takes a lot out of you. This one is way back, and it is gone. And that didn't sound like he caught it. No. no what, 435? <laughs> Missed it. That is not right. Check my bat. I might have broke it. Well, you know what? I think they can go up with broken bats and still hit them that far. Oh, is this going out? This is Well, he didn't oh get my. that either, huh? Oh, my gosh. How do you, he was wishing that over, and I'm like, you don't need to wish it over. You got some strength. That is absolutely crushed. Goodbye. Over the pool. <laughs> I mean, that's on the high board. Over to the pool, right? into the woods. It's, wow. Need to get a diving board and spring up to catch right. those. And that's the high board. Oh. And that's a high ball way back to right field. And this is long gone. I thought that was going to the second deck up there. Too high. <laughs> it must have Too been. High. 
The, the wind knocked it down, right? <laughs> wow. Well, Adrian Gonzalez hasn't hit, as you point out, Crunky getting close to hour and a half, hour 40, trying to stay loose. Bye. Oh and my. that's a oh two-backer. That, that was a two-backer. That, that, that was, no. I don't even think you got no. the back, first back. one. I don't even think you got the first one out. You're back. Wow. <laughs> Back and a half. <laughs> Back and a half. This is impressive. You know, one day, the home run record for second baseman. It's not Jeff Kent. I would have thought that was Jeff, but it's still held by Davey Johnson, who in 1973, of course, Davey now the manager of the Nationals, hit 43. Rogers Hornsby had 42. That guy, by the way, this just him was pretty good. But you wonder. I know you don't see that sort of stuff, but one day with swing like this, could he have 45 home runs in a season? Second base. He's baseman. in a great ballpark to do it, Yankee right. Stadium with the short porch in right field. You know, he can miss hit a ball and hit it out. I think he's going to not only does he have the opportunity to hit 40 homes, I, I think I think he's going to win three or four batting wow, titles, too, before it's all done. I Yikes. And, then not, and not only that, I think also with that lineup, he'll get pitched to as well, which will give him opportunities to hit him 439 feet like we just saw. <laughs> and this is farther. <laughs> this is certainly higher, and it's gone. I got to tell you. 450. Of course it is. Good eyes, no more. Right. This is the best <laughs> round that anyone's had. He's had 10 here with still three outs to go. Doesn't even look like he's sweating. What's the matter with him? He can't hit him all out? He's struggling. Uh, I he's think struggling. It, He'll find a swing someday. You know what? His dad's probably going, all right, no dinner for you tonight. <laughs> Don't be popping up. Look at that. Dad is like, okay, so show me something, right. will you, son? Right, exactly. He has not. He's. Ex he goes. I'm he, used to seeing this. He's not even breathing. No, hard, though. Come on. You. Like he's. He, his dad was angry at that one. Like, let's go. Kidding me. You're kidding me. Want some water? Somebody I'll give him some water. Don't waste my time out here, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How come they don't bring a drink for dad? Son I don't, gets all right? the drinks. I don't, I know. Dad's What's doing all the work. Dad? Look at that shot Look right at that. there. That's great. beautiful. What a special moment for the two of them. Oh, oh I yeah. wanted to crush He that wanted one. that one, didn't he? That's what, you, that's what Dad says. He said, come on, you're wasting my stuff yes. here, man. Oh, oh holy goodness. Toledo. Oh, no. Way back, 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 back. Oh, oh my Back goodness. He has over that the spot. pool again. Oh my gosh. With a big old smile. I don't think we're ever going to get dad to smile. Unless he no, wins this, no, maybe dad. we'll see one. No. What would be interesting, though, if he and Poppy are in the same in, in the finals? Oh, gosh. I, did, well, I mean, oh my oh, goodness. This is crunch to right field. That's over G Series. Yes. yes. Another G Series. <laughs> Hooky. <laughs> got two relievers over here saying they got to throw him a hook. Got to hook him. <laughs> oh. He did. Dad smiled. Nah, it doesn't. Uh, there was a little smirk. <laughs> hey, what's going to happen if Poppy and Robinson Cano are in the finals? Dad's allegiance has got to be with son, right? That's that impressive. Gets the standing ovation. That's and Dad impressive. gave him a David round of applause. I know I beat my people. I know I beat my people. And you know it. Hell yeah. Get 20 home runs, and all but two of them went at least 425. How about that? Now here are the Yankees. What did you say when you impress your peers? That's impressive. And look at that. Hey, but you know what? No more. <laughs> and his teammates, there. He's impressing his teammates. You see him every day. 450 here, show. fellas. Look. Wow. Coming at you to a theater near you.
This one's for mom. That one's for you, this mom. One's for you, mom. That's great. Wow. So we're seeing all the different sort of swings. Look at think that. of that's a pretty swing. Right? Think of Prince's yeah. swing. Oh my goodness. Think of Adrian's swing. And now look, Robbie's Robbie is just there's not a lot of he's pretty steady in the box, huh? Yeah, he is. He's so balanced in that box. So is Adrian Gonzalez. And look at that smile. And I loved it. That was for you, Mom. And I got a text. By the way, sorry. Hi, Mom. I mentioned my dad. My mom's like, what about me? Sorry, Mom. <laughs> dad did a heck of a job. So Robbie Cano with 20 home runs in the two rounds. We told you all of them, but two went at least 425. Big Poppy has had two rounds, has nine. He's just dwindling there because we have Adrian Gonzalez up next, who led the first round with nine, and then the National League's only shot left. Their captain, Prince Fielder, back to Chase Field in a moment. Catch all four rounds of the Open Championship live on ESPN starting Thursday morning. Coming from across the pond. Of a record-breaking performance at the U.S. Open, Rory McIlroy leads the field teeing off at Royal St. George's. 2011 championship coverage begins at ESPN Thursday, 4 a.m. Eastern. Also can be seen on ESPN3. Now tomorrow here in Phoenix, 4 Eastern, and the All-Star Red Carpet Show presented by Chevrolet. Tomorrow night at 8 the 82nd Major League Baseball All-Star Game on Fox. And then the MLB Fan Cave at MLBFanCave.com. Many of baseball's biggest stars have stopped by the cave. Check out all the videos. See you visit the cave next. MLB Fan Cave on Twitter and the MLB Fan Cave page on Facebook. Santa, a little early, but he's ready. ready. Got to be ready. ready he's on vacation. Look at him. Living it up. Joy in life. Santa likes the pool. It's almost been belted a few times. Well, I see why Santa likes the pool. It's Christmas every day, Bo. Christmas every day. So now, Adrian Gonzalez, who started this thing off with the most home runs in round one with nine. We oh, yeah, probably oh, batted yeah. a close to two hours ago. So and Manny Acta hasn't thrown in that time either. I know he's thrown some on the side down in the cage to Adrian, but you know, pressure now on the on the pitcher also. I mean, we saw Adrian staying loose underneath the batting cage. I wonder if that was Manny Acta throwing to him as well. I mean, they must have to have like heat packs on their body, something to keep them warm. Uh, well, he's just he's just working on his trajectory. He's Wait, he's, his first two in this first round, he it's missed, struggle. and then he he's, figured it he's, out. He's what, struggling. Makes adjustments, so makes him such a great hitter. Well, he's an interesting. His background very interesting. Moved to Tijuana at about one, came back about twelve to San Diego, so played ball both on the rugged fields, if you will, in Tijuana. Were the more manicured fields in San Diego. Also studied a lefty, was a pretty good hitter for the Padres named Tony Gwynn. And we know that he that, yeah, it worked out for Tony. Yeah. Pretty good, that swing. And by the way, it's worked out for Tony in more important yes. things lately, and that's great news that he's doing better. So Adrian Gonzalez is student of the game, but here it is. An hour 45 since he's hit, he's cold. It, it's definitely a, a factor, that's for sure. And like we said, what makes him such a great hitter during the regular season is that adjustments. Matt won't have enough lift. Oof. And those kids were smart enough to get out yeah, of the way. Move. That's got to be hard to sit around that long. Hour and a half, a little, or maybe over an hour and a half, and, and then go out and try to dial it up and see how far he can hit it. But here's the thing, although we don't, we think Prince Fielder's going to hit a lot because he had nine. And that'll give him 10. He may not need that many because now he's past David Ortiz. Only Prince with five could catch him. So he may not need that many. Although Prince is capable of anything as we've seen. So we're going to have a new home run champion since Poppy's out, right? Yeah, Poppy That's is right. out. Oh, boy. This one is a rainmaker to right. And it's gone. 
We did really good on our picks. Way to go, Crucky. You were well, good. I'm you were high good. Good. Close. You, No, I'm, you're all right. I'm talking about Crucky. No, you're fine. Well, I've done this Krucky, more than you. Yeah, well, well played. You were hitting it, but I've done this. <laughs> I am the Swami, you know. You think it's just football? <laughs> Oh, go oh, the other way. way. Go the other yes, way. Go the yes, other he way. Did. Yes, he did. Yes. <laughs> look at look at guy. Look at the team react after that. Going the other way. That's unbelievable. Ah, uh, Poppy's like, well, I should lose to that. Right. <laughs> hey, Poppy picked a pretty good lineup. I mean, this is. Hey, that's uh, right. I mean, he can't complain. He picked these guys that no, are beating. No, that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah. Buster only with the man that put on a show. That's right, Robinson Cano. How fired up were you to be invited into this competition? Well, I was excited to be here. I mean, those are the kind of things that you dream as a kid. You always watch those guys. Back in the day, Sosa, Griffin, Maguire, Rodriguez, um, Giambi. So you're looking forward. So you, you want to you get that feel, how to feel to be here. And then, you know what, now that I'm here, it's a big experience. Be a moment that you get to see the fans fired up and cheer for you. When does weariness start to play into it? Second round, you start to get a little tired? Well, I'm not tired. The only thing is, get, you know, you you sit down for a little bit, then it's hard. But good thing I just go to the cage and stretch and try not to get hurt. What's it like to have your dad pitch? He's the best thing. I mean, I got your dad pitching, and because he's the one that knows me best. So, you know, I like it. He knows me. He's the best. You dedicate one of these home runs to your mom? Yeah, I dedicate one to my mom and the other one to my town, San Pedro Marcos, because I know everybody's watching right now and they cheer for me. Robinson Cano, thanks. Back to you, Chris. All right, Buster and Robbie, thank you. And Adrian Gonzalez is saying, okay, I needed three or four pitches to warm up. Oh. Hello! Just got to figure out a way how much distance needs to put between he and Prince. Yeah, I know. Because, I mean, Prince, Nine. what, five? Uh, five in a row. Five in a row. Five swings, five home runs. Again, I repeat, this is our batting leader in yeah. average hitting all these home runs. 354. Wow. Oh, look at that. Once again, you, I mean, Krucky, you said it. Between his swing and Cano's swing, they might have two of the prettiest swings here uh, this All-Star. I, I hope my son's watching this and watching these two swings. You can talk about it and work with them all you want, but they can see this and emulate. That's how we learned how to swing, right? Right. Number one overall pick in 2000 by Florida. Oh man, this is smack to right on its way to Yuma. Yeah. <laughs> Spent a lot of years in Yuma, boom, with the Padres spring training. Well, that was like that one will come back. Your, your, your head twisted when oh, I said boy, Yuma. Didn't Yuma, it? Yuma, great memories, I think. <laughs> no, I liked Yuma. I just don't remember a lot. Well, you were young. I was very young. And not real smart. <laughs> now I'm just. So what's changed? Not real smart. I'm old. <laughs> now you're not young. <laughs> I'm old. Now this is a skyscraper. Ah, a... Way to center field and oh the second deck. Another room at the Holiday Inn. That's a penthouse suite right there. Hey, he's uh he's creeping. He's way, creeping up on Cano right now. This is we... this is. Who would have thought <laughs> that Robbie Cano is not home safe? After that display that he put on, you're right. I, know. I mean, and in case you've been <laughs> counting, look at that. Close games, camera right. work, he can do it all. <laughs> the Halverty. You think they want him to put it over the other shoulder, though? Ladies and gentlemen, nine home runs in his last 10 swings for Adrian Gonzalez. Four forty, huh? Four forty. Oh, that's my such God. an easy and swing and it's out our way. Set. Come on. Oh my oh gosh, my goodness. Quit. Now Stop. That is a display. Stop it. I hope these fans realize how difficult that is. He went the other way with this swing. Center field. He's hit him to all fields. 
Oh, he pops up. He, he stinks. Seven in a row, but <laughs> that it's was snap. unbelievable. Boom. Seven in a row. <laughs> but it's you know you know we've seen a lot of these. Josh Hamilton comes to mind. Oh yeah. Giambi. Uh, I mean, I could go down the list, but this is a different sort of role, isn't it? I mean, it's it's not the violent. It's not the swing. I mean, it's not the. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's more wow. Did he just with that swing? Uh, did yes. he do it again? Right. But the, the thing yeah. about it is, it, it, it's like you see guys hit like Prince hit a couple where he yeah. hit and he recoiled. Adrian stays on perfect balance every swing. Every swing, he's on perfect balance when he finishes. Both him and Cano, when they swing, their head barely moves. I mean, it, it stays right there. It is locked in. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Watch out over there. We told you. See, he didn't have a green vest on. He That's did not. Why. Yeah. Oh, I see. See the yeah. guy laying down. Yeah. didn't even come close to him because yeah. he did have a green vest. Yeah, well, he's hiding. He's got a white shirt on right. on the white tarp. So uh, he's hidden. Like a shield? He's hidden. A wow. force field, yeah, a negative ball, force field. Couldn't see him. He was safe. It's like camo. So Adrian Gonzalez's 20 homers are as many as Robinson Cano's. Well, and now, oh, oh. you know, who, who put the G-Series sign there? You know they're going to hit it. <laughs> yeah. He's done. He's struggling. <laughs> yeah. Might be over. Whoa. Fouled it off to the other side. Now here comes Prince yeah. saying, okay, the National League's gonna win, I gotta hit what, 40? Just uh yeah, you're right. 20. I mean, there. yeah, if you count count it right now between the National League 16. and American League, American League has 53 right now to the National League's 15. Don't forget, still a team competition. <laughs> you, you well, not anymore. Right. <laughs> he, he, he better get hot. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, up. oh man, if that hits me. That was close. I was counting on you guys. Yeah, we need hey, one of those. It's a great show by Adrian Gonzalez. Great show in both rounds. Unbelievable show, yes. I mean, look at this swing. Like you said, just so effort effortless. It's, look at his head, focus, and, and this is impressive. When he goes center field look at this one more left center and than most anything? guys don't even look to hit it that way but he he went to go that yeah. way to do damage well our harlotte in the distance tracker showed 428 there can you guess the distance of the longest home run tonight text your guess to 88 222 for a chance to win a weekend getaway from Holiday Inn, the official partner of MLB Road Trips. Standard messaging and data rates may apply. Oh yeah, ¿qué pasó con la isla? So Adrian Gonzalez with 20. Robbie Cano with 20. David Ortiz eliminated and now Prince Fielder with five has to hit 15 or our champs from the last two years are both out. This is my lone chance for the National League. <laughs> it ain't well, looking good. Well, I'll tell you what. They're only 38 Wait behind. A he is, when he takes He's five capable. swings in a row, gets a standing, after getting booed today, then gets a standing ovation from this crowd. Well-deserved after going five swings with five home runs. You never know. Don't count them out. So here's Prince Fielder. Oh, now the Boos come back. What, they don't remember what he did the right. last oh, There you go. That's six. what he did. Do you remember yes. this? Oh, six. On, Stop people. it. Stop it. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Come on, people. Up on the Cheer concourse. The Cheer the man. He didn't do nothing 474. wrong. 474. So that's our longest thus far today. Did wow. you text that in? Uh, holiday in? <laughs> yes. That won't quite... Yeah, although, we did, on it yet. although we did see <laughs> yeah, one right Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the carry. Stay no, with I mean, it. No, stay no, with I mean, it. The wind might blow it out. You 
thinking about that one, aren't you? Craig? Yeah, I am. Wind yeah, blowing out. The wind blowing out. The roof's closed, my friend. Hey, the wind's I, I closed. Swear they did, I swear That's they did it in the Astrodome. Yeah. I swear they did it. <laughs> oh, no. The, they turned that air conditioner so the blowers so no, blew out. It was the other way. You don't know that blew, story? blew it in. When the opponents came up. I know. It was on blowing in. It, it, blowing in. It would knock it down. It would be five mile an hour yes. blowing so in. So you know that. That's why I never hit a home run there. <laughs> <laughs> hit some of my best bolts there. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Well, you were no toy cannon, Jimmy Wynn, were you? I uh, have a pop gun. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. man, this is slugged. God. I mean, from our angle, it is so great to see just the torque that he creates with that lower half. And when he extends his arms with it, you know it's going a long way. Taking his time. The captain, and I like that, you know, the National League is all here watching their captain trying to pull it out single handedly. Pedro Gomez on the National League side. Matt, the only National Leaguer left is up there right now. It was your first time in here. Now, Prince Prince said that his first time he only got three. How hard is this? It's definitely uh, not as easy as everybody thinks it is. Uh, usually when we're taking BP, you know, we have that little screen around us, the cage. Uh, it, it, it's tough, but, uh, man, it was a great experience, and, and hopefully I can get back in it and uh, do it again. I, I know what to expect. You've been twittering a little bit here today. Yeah, what, what, yeah, what, what, what have you been sending? Uh, I, I know some people are probably a little disappointed in me. You know, I, they probably thought I should have hit more. I, I, I thought I was going to hit more than two, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. This is, this is a uh, once-in-a-lifetime experience, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here with, with my homies, and we're having a great time. We just saw Adrian Gonzalez hit 11. It's following up the nine he hit in the first round. This is a guy that you're very familiar with from the National League West when he was with the Padres. What can you tell us about him? Yeah, I mean, he's got a sweet swing, man. Uh, he can hit the ball to, to all parts of the field. You know, he has a great eye, and, uh, you know, he's, 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 he's by far one, one of the best uh, first basemen in, in, in all of baseball. People don't think of him as a home run hitter, though. Uh, man, I think the numbers he's going to put up in Boston, uh, you know, uh, using that, that left center uh, uh, wall, I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's got a sweet swing, man. And, to, and for him to, to go to, to a, a different league and to, to hit what he's hitting is, is, is pretty impressive. Matt, thank you very much. All right. Chris? All right, Pedro, thank you, Matt. That wasn't out? Yes, it was out. That ball was out. That was out. Put it they up did. there. That ball was out. Yes, it hit That's above, that above ain't going the yellow out. line. That ain't going oh out. Oh my not. gosh! That's a line drive. That was unbelievable. What, 30 feet? Maybe? Oh my goodness! That might have been more impressive. Even that one didn't go out. That one's toward the pool, fellas. Look out! Splish splash. We were taking a bath. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. just he foul. Looked at. Got it. Oh. Gold ball coming in. Now, I mean, we don't lay it on the line here. He needs 11 before the next out. 11 Possible. Huh? 11 for a swing off. Yeah. He can do it. Nope. Nope. So Prince, the champ of two years ago, and David Ortiz, the champ of last year, the two captains hey, eliminated. They made it to the second round. But now we go to the finals. Where will be the Yankees against the Red Sox? Why not? Again? Exactly. Of course it is. Adrian Gonzalez and Robinson Cano, the two left standing in the State Farm home run derby. MLB at Home is presented by T-Mobile. Here to connect you to what matters most. Learn about T-Mobile's COVID-19 response at T-Mobile.com. Welcome back to the State Farm Home Run Derby. Aerial coverage brought to you by State Farm. Help your favorite charity get to a better state and get yourself to the World Series. Log on to StateFarm.com slash go to bat for details. Ah, look at that. Sunset in the desert. Inside at Chase Field. It's 1998, home of those then expansion Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks, who 
in that memorable World Series. Beat the New York Yankees. Now we'll watch a Yankee play a Red Sox. Robinson Cano against Adrian Gonzalez. We wiped the slate clean, but it doesn't matter. They had the same amount of home runs anyway. So this is truly winner take all. And there are our last two representatives from the Boys and Girls Club with the Red Sox and the Yankee helmets, hoping that their players can bring their club reap big benefits. And our second round recap brought to you by Adidas. Oh, oh this is powdered way back. That's disgusting. Back, 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 back. Wow. I mean, look at the expressions on the players' faces. Dad smiled. That doesn't. Uh, there was a little smirk. That one's toward the pool, fellas. Look out. Oh, my oh gosh. My goodness. I hope. He... And that brings us to where we are. Adrian Gonzalez, we had a feeling. Robinson Cano, you had a second baseman, just the wrong one. The wrong one. one, the wrong second baseman. I should have picked the lefty. What was I thinking? Left-handed hitter. Rogers Hornsby, you could go, you know. You go a lot of ways with that second baseman. Should have picked Cano. All right, who we got this round, Omar? Well, this I've got, round? I've got, wow. I've got, I've I got Gonzo. Got, you got Gonzo. So you guys are Cano? Yeah. Well, huh. I like Cano as well. I really do. I do. Well, you said you should have gone with the left. You said, you know, five of the last six winners have been left-handed in this home run derby, so you're right. I mean, we got to, how do we not go with the odds? Well, apparently we're not splitting no. Well, I had Ortiz. I did go with the lefty, but. Adrian Gonzalez is on the board in the finals. See, he's patient. Wow, he's patient and productive productive very nice yes. thank you I can steal from anybody yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I've been on the air for 32 years <laughs> really that long? yeah I know it's Seems yeah your like head yesterday your oh head whoa oh, it's gone your head spun on that and Yuma and Robbie Cano is watching underneath. Did, did, he, did he? He goes, hey, can I get a little TV? Put it right there while I yeah, stretch. Yeah, I want to so know I can... what I need, how much yep. I have to stretch. Well, we'll accommodate him. This is a different sort of ball for Gonzalez. Does it have enough juice? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I think, I, did you say you, you went with Gonzalez? Yeah, I wow. think so. <laughs> I, 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 That's I, I'm just not a great picking. Swing. I'm staying I neutral did, no, on this one. Right. I'm not getting involved in the rivalry. You two fight this one out. <laughs> well, we live in Connecticut. Right. I mean, we're in the middle. Everybody's going, how do you not pick a Red Sox? I was like, ah, I was on the spot. <laughs> Pressure. This well, one is to right center. Look out of the pool. Oh, and he went in. Yes. Splash landing. And he didn't get the ball. Well, he got it. He showed it in his glove. It's in his glove. No. That's a catch. That's a catch. Of the Yes, that's yeah. it. That's, that's a second. I that, think the kid in center was. Yeah, better. I agree. Well, I agree. Well, both. But that's know, a wet web gem. That's. <laughs> I wonder what Sam Fold thought of both of those. Because he's used to making those catches. Oh, yeah. Not in the pool. He's no, not. he's not. Here it is. Look. Ah. Oh. oh, how about the guy trying to hold yeah. him? And he's like, no, nah, I ain't going with you. You're on your own. Sam jumps in a pool at, 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 at the drop. He's jumping in with them stingrays. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We might want to stay away from them. And not quite. So okay. Adrian has. Gonzalez telling himself to calm down, relax a little bit. His Prince, he knows well. Our National League team didn't quite do it. He got to the semis. But it's a Red Sox, then a Yankee. Here in the finals of the 2011 State Farm Home Run Derby. Ooh, got, oh, and that is on top of that one. God, boy, it's so pretty to see somebody get on top that, of the ball like he did and drive it out that when, far. When you get tired, look at this. You want it higher? You, you want it you, elevated? You don't think that is that is even teeing up Robbie Cano's baseball in the 
the tee down there. This is full service. Meanwhile, oh, here's wow. some full service for Adrian Gonzalez. Back, 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 back. Above the pool. Oh, my goodness. Our holiday and distance tracker tells you. Survey says 438. 438. Oh, same spot. Oh, my goodness. Little farther. God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He's awesome. It's not fair to, to look be. at Big Poppy going, hey, still coaching him. Hey, Fernando. Hi. Well. Well, nine in the, in the first round, 11 in the second round. It, you, you wonder why he leads the league in batting? Consistent, right? Crocky, look, I mean. Well, not only consistent, but I said adjustments as well. I mean, even in this round, he. Had a couple, kind of messed up a little bit, and he just gets, he refocuses, takes steps out of the box, and starts hitting bombs again. Yeah, he gets back on rhythm quicker than anyone I've seen. Well, he and Cano both, but I mean, even during the season, you see him a couple approaches at the plate where he might jump a little bit against a lefty, and then all of a sudden, just something just clicks in. He stays back and hits a line drive the other way. It's just the same thing here. His adjustments are quicker than the rest of them. You're right. I think both of these guys know their swing so well that in the middle of the game, even in the middle of that bat, a pitch comes, they might, whatever it is, they pull out, pull that front shoulder, they can feel it, and they know what it takes to get back on track. And that next pitch, not the next at bat, the next pitch they adjust and hit it 400 and some feet like we're watching right now. And what we've also noticed from both of these guys from their very first pitch on, and here's another one slugged by Adrian Gonzalez, back, 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 gone again. <laughs> Both of these guys were at ease at the plate from their first pitch on, right? They, well, it, there was no rush about it. And remember, this is Cano's first one. And he's, Adrian's done it before, and that didn't quite make it. But, but you, you know what's so impressive that that ball, him hitting the other way, that means he's allowing that ball to travel and get deep on him. He's not getting out in front of the ball, trying to pull everything. That gets him locked back in to get that home run swing. And if you look at the sign, it's 413 See? feet. <laughs> you know, that's, that's 413 that's, to center field. Yes. He bounced it off the wall. That's a long way to hit. Double one. figures oh, in the championship round, fellas. I mean, this is, can we also say this? To put up this number, and we don't know what Cano has done yet, and obviously Gonzo's far from being done. To put up double figures your third time up, Pretty impressive, huh, guys? Extremely impressive. You know, people can't understand how. Yikes! Oh, come on. How fatigued and tired and you are after this many rounds and 444 feet and on that last hand, one. And your hands, no, Mar, because you have the pine tar. Your hands, you know, after you swing so many times, your hands get really sore a after a certain amount of swings. Now he has the thumb guard thing on, but that doesn't help it out in your fingers. That's what I used to get when I hit a lot extra. My fingers would kill me. I mean, when you're taking batting practice or you're taking extra work in the tunnel, whatever it is during the season, even during regular, if you take this many swings, they are not all out like they're, that they're doing right mm -hmm. now to try to hit home runs. You take a nice few, easy one, get on track, just make contact, and then maybe a few to hit them out. I mean, to swing every time to try to hit a home run, you're sore from your toes to your head. And hey, you get three or four rounds, and your first round is, is, you know, the other way. You know, your next round, you might start thinking up the middle more. Your next round, you just, you know, hit it where it's pitched. And then the fourth round is the home run round where you're trying to go deep. It's only five or six swings. Right. These guys are taking, what, 50, 60 swings? Uh, trying least. to hit that many. It's tough. At least. And remember, unlike everyone else who kind of thought out who's going to pitch to him, Manny Acta, Cleveland skipper, picked about a half hour before this thing. Good Before pick. By, by yeah, good choice. Gonzalez. He got under that one. He's allowed to get a little tired. He's not done yet, though. I'm just telling you. I'm with are you. Are you with you, me so you, far? Are you kidding? I can't argue. You've had the eye on him all day. So you what, you picked up something. So yeah, Larry Fitzgerald from well, the Arizona Cardinals. Tell you what. Right. Checking this out. He's seen some good catches, but that guy Larry has made a few in his day. And will make is as good is as good as it gets. He's made some one hand catches yes. that are incredible. Web gems, if you will. 
Yes. Very nice. Or pig skin, pig skin gems. Gems. <laughs> I could go for some pork rinds right now. I know you're hungry. I know it. They have been Yuma. Well, well, some of these it's guys. Not far have... away. <laughs> oh. All right, now we did a gold ball. That was yep, it. That's that was it. it. That was a gold ball. So 11, which ties the most in a final round. Bobby Abreu had 11. Big Poppy had 11 last year. He had 11 in the final round. That is going to be an awfully tall building for Robinson Cano to climb. Adrian Gonzalez, 9, 11, and 11. And what do they used to say? It's in the pool. It's in the pool. Splash down. Look at this thing. Just another day at the beach for Adrian Gonzalez. <laughs> That's a good catch. That's a great catch. <laughs> That's a dream catch. And another fan excited to catch a home run because he's hit so many in that last round. Wow. Look at the balance of no more mention. Look at his head not moving whatsoever. The perfect balance. The my goodness. Look at that out on the front leg. Look at the balance though. Just perfect. Look at all of that. Whew. It looks like fireworks. Real yes, fireworks right there. It does. <laughs> Very just awesome. And I mean, he's eh, another day at the beach. So 11 is the number that Robinson Cano must get. And you knew. Robbie Cano. He's seen the Red Sox post a lead. What do the Yankees have for us? We'll be back. At T-Mobile, we know that connection is more important than ever. So we're making big moves to help those who need it most. Introducing T-Mobile Connect, a prepaid plan to help keep America connected. Starting at just $15 a month, it gives flexibility for uncertain times. Visit T-Mobile.com slash connect to learn more. You can also manage your account and make payments online. Stay connected with T-Mobile Connect. in the Ozone. The Ortiz. David Ortiz, champ of the 2010 Home Run Derby. That was last year, but now in the desert, Adrian Gonzalez is standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, and his performance has been such a fine sight to see. You knew I'd get that in. Will Robbie Cano hit 12, or will Adrian Gonzalez Follow his teammate David Ortiz as back to back Boston Red Sox State Farm home run derby chance. Tough to beat Gonzo. Well, he's, you know, <laughs> and, but you know and, what? He's been hot too, no more. He can do it. He can do it. And let's put it this and way. He's got a familiar BP thrower. Let's put it this way. It won't surprise me if he has a couple swings left with a chance to tie Gonzalez or beat him. It's not going to surprise me. I don't think it's going to be like he's going to hit two or three and it's going to be over. I quick. agree. I think he's going to take this to the end. Well, too clutch a player not to. Plus, you don't want to disappoint dad, right? That's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's an incentive in yeah. and of itself. Yeah. You know, fifty thousand can boo you. Right. Dad, dad looks at you with yeah. some disappointment. <laughs> right. Nah, man. Nah. I mean, that's got to uh -huh. feel good when he get when dad gave that smirk. You're like, all right. And, and like the smirks over son get back in there. Well his last round he hit 12. I just want to know who his dad's trainer is. I need to hire him. Oh boy. Yeah, there right there we go. Game. game on. Game high wow. center field. Oh man. Buster only is with our leader. Adrian Gonzalez, you put 11 on the board. Robinson Cano now at the plate. How are you feeling about your chances? I feel good about, you know, Robbie's a great hitter and he's capable. He had 12 around before, so uh, 
he can definitely uh, win this. So, uh, you know, just uh, wait and see. What was your strategy today? Um, you know, I came in with a mentality to tap and, uh, you know, so I can stay on my backside a little more. And as you know, I got a lot of different uh, stances and swings. So um, didn't feel good with that MVP. Uh, so I just went to a normal leg and just how I normally hit. Tell me the story of how Manny Acta came to be the guy to throw to you in this home run derby. Yeah, right before I was searching, I didn't really didn't know who was going to throw to me. And uh, got uh, got to about 440, and they said, you got to be ready at 510. And I started asking every coach available. And uh, Manny turned around. He was eating fruit and looking at a magazine and said, I'll do it. I was like, all right, let's go. So uh, he did a great job. Adrian, food. thanks. Chris, back to you. Now, how about that? Huh? Eating food. Uh, I'll okay. do it. Eating, he was eating Crux food, and wow, that was wow. online. That was over the top of the pool. Santa almost got it. <laughs> what? That's Christmas on July 11. <laughs> I was thinking about wearing that same outfit today. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't clean. Wow, the game is on. You called it, Crucky. Robbie Cano is we ain't. You can say what you want about it, about done. New York and Boston and the publicity they get. But when you play in those cities, no more, I'll tell you, Philadelphia is the same, a bigger market, the bigger market team. You have to be prepared to put on a show every once in a while. And these guys understand that. This is a show and a half. Way back there in right That's center. The oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, that, that woke this crowd oh. up. I don't think they can measure that. I don't think they can measure that. That was no. That one. That one. Oh my! They didn't expect that one to go there. That that was unbelievable. That was oh. unbelievable. We're, we're, they're, they're, that, that's what I'm saying. It's going to take a while to measure because well, it we, was that far. We need a we you need a, a protractor and a slide <laughs> rule out there or a sexton. Richie. Yeah, he could hit him, but <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I was talking about. Yep, but it's tough when you know. I mean, now uh, look, he's got six outs to get six homers. Joe Torrey, what a great ovation he got on Old Timers Day. Was welcome back home, Joe, at Yankee Stadium, and then he was on hand to watch Derek Jeter. And you know, we're remiss in not congratulating Derek Jeter. For getting, can you ever get to 3,000 hits and more style? I know Craig Bisho, the one that got to 3,000 before, went far for five as well. And, and when Wade, you can hit, you can hit. And huh? Yeah, and Wade Boggs getting also Over. hitting a home run yep. on his 3,000. So we already knew he was in great company and, and was fortunate enough to play for that man as well. Hey, Robbie Cano, hello. <laughs> This uh, this is fun. This, no, this, this, is, this is exciting and fun. The American League won. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Goodness. Oh man, this oh, is slugged so far. <laughs> God, is, it's. Uh, you talk about how tired they must be. How do you have that much strength to still hit it that far? He's young. He has the farthest one. You don't want to disappoint yet, that. But I'm sure it's the farthest. Oh, oh goes down and gets this that. is on its way to Flagstaff. How about the leg strength it takes to get down and hit that ball, Nomar? Just how, the leg strength to get down and hit that ball. Oh, my about goodness. He's four away from beating a guy that put up 11 in the finals, which is tied for the most. Yeah. So he has to break the record for the and, most in the finals to win got, this. And he's got six more outs. Yes. Six more outs. He's on a good pace. Ah, did he get enough? Oh, if that goes, we just quit. Nope. Not quite. Five outs left, needs four. And these guys have done it in every round. So many years. Ooh. So many years. That was an interesting one. That was. So many years you see. It's just hard to, to have tons in all three rounds. Don't have that. So six outs. Gonzo looking on. Oh, oh, oh man! This ball is way back, back and gone. Two to tie. 
three to win. Dad on the mound. Who's cracked one smile so far? <laughs> Just one. Well, I, I wonder if he smiles if he ties him, or is he going, only going to smile when he if he wins this? I think only on a win. Well, I tell you what, if, if that was my son, I'd be very proud of him right now. <laughs> wow. I like that music. I don't like that music. <laughs> Doesn't like the music. He's going to have to sing. Yeah. He oh, he liked it. All right. Way back. 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 Gone. See. Look at that, two more. Dad gave him the two sign. Joe knows. Hey, well, look at all the Yankee players yep. revving up the crowd trying to get him into this thing. How can you not? This is a show. This is an absolute show. Two great players going at it, needing to break the record to, to win it, and he's right there. One to tie, two to win it. May we remind you we play second base? Yeah. <laughs> middle infielder, go the other way. Yeah, those middle infielders have no Good socks. Good glove, no socks. Right. right, I know. Yep. Yeah. Ow! Oh! Oh! Way back to right center. This thing oh is tied up. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, that's awesome. That was awesome. Wow. That was awesome. That was awesome. Hey, 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 come here, come here. Dad pitching to his son in his grandmother's backyard in the Dominican Republic. And now it's this. And now we're, we're witnessing probably exactly how it looked in that yes. backyard. Look at this. Look at one more. Wow. Look at it. He's not smiling yet. You need one more. I say that he goes uno hey. mas and he goes I love you dad. Four outs to hit one homer and be the champ and still patient after all this time. There you go. There it is. There's a winner. Back, Look at that. Back 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 back. God, we have a show dad. Show dad. Yankees 12, Red Sox 11. And he's the old skipper. And you know what? The chances of doing that after your competitor puts up 11 are slim. Slim to none. But the none was eliminated by dad and son. Sorry, Adrian. Awesome. What a treat. What a treat for all the fans here to witness this. That was truly, was cool. truly. A great and, moment. And, you know, the father throwing BP, you didn't know how that was going to work out. But you saw the Yankee players, Robertson, Granderson, Russell Martin. Like, this is like game seven of the World Series. They just won it. The way they celebrated this thing, it tells you just what it means to these players. And, you know, when you watch this from afar, you think, you know, like we said, big guys just hitting home runs, whatever. This is, this is incredible. This is, this is a great, great thing we saw today. This one's off the sign. Gosh, after off the sign, this is how you win it. <laughs> how about that look at his dad when he hits this? Oh, well, the father threw it. He had some baseballs in his hand. He threw them up in the air as soon as he hit it. Same thing, just like Adrian. Head doesn't move, staying behind. But look the at ball. the balance. Look, look at, at how he stays on balance after all these swings. Incredible lower body strength. Watch, Watch that. 
<laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> That's beautiful. What a proud oh, where's moment. the smile? It's right. coming. Right. It's coming. Right. It's hey. in there. Come on. Hey. Yes, Darren. Out of the way. That is special. What an unbelievable moment. Jose Cano said, yep, yeah, that's my son. Awesome. Wow. Tell you what, it got a, a while to get everybody into this thing, although Adrian Gonzalez started the night with nine. Robbie Cano hit eight in the third at bat. He was on his tail from the start and never lost sight of the leader. We'll have our trophy presentation and more when we return to crown Robbie Cano, the 2011 Home Run Derby champ. State Farm Home Run Derby presented by State Farm. For auto home life and banking, get to a better state. And in part by Chevrolet, proud to support the game of baseball across the country. You can check out the MLB Fan Cave at MLBFanCave.com. Many of the biggest stars in baseball have stumped by the cave. Check out all the videos and see who'll visit the cave next. Follow at MLB Fan Cave on Twitter and the MLB Fan Cave page on Facebook. Well, things looking pretty good for Robinson Cano, who stared 11 home runs by Adrian Gonzalez down. And Santa's happy with Yankee fans. And Robinson Cano and the Cano family are happier. Pedro Gomez on the field. Pedro. Chris, what a show these guys put on tonight. 95 home runs for the evening. Tremendous, tremendous evening. I am joined by Prince Fielder, the National League captain, a very happy young lady who was representing Robinson Cano, Tim Brosnan, executive vice president of business for Major League Baseball, American League captain David Ortiz, Mike Davidson, a vice chairman with State Farm, Robinson Cano, Jose Cano, Joe Torre. Mike, Major League Baseball as well as State Farm is making a very nice donation here. I believe you have something to say. Well, thank you. And first of all, I'd like to congratulate Robinson on a great show. It was probably the greatest finals that we've ever had. So congratulations to you. And on behalf of Major League Baseball and State Farm, we have a check for $603,000 to give to the various communities. And over the last five years, State Farm and Major League Baseball have contributed over $2.3 million. So congratulations to all. Now we have one more presentation by Executive Vice President of Baseball Operations, Joe Torrey. Joe, I believe you have something to give to your former uh, player. Thanks, Pedro. On behalf of Major League Baseball, and it's a very proud moment for me, Robbie, present you with the 2011 Home Run Derby Championship. And don't forget to give your dad a hug. <laughs> I will. There you go. Robinson, a lot of people who know you and follow you know that that's really your swing. How much do you think your swing helped you win this? Well, the best thing is um, not, not my swing. He's the kind of man that was throwing BP. He's my dad, the one that knows me really well, the one that I practice in the whole season. They got him every day after the game on the phone. And also, I want to thank the beautiful fans in the city of Arizona for the support. And also, thanks the New York fans too. What was it like to have your father, former Houston Astro pitcher, by the way, I don't know if a lot of people know that, did pitch for the Astros back in the 80s, to have your father throw batting practice to you during the home run derby? I mean, at first, I, I told him, he said, yeah, that's a great idea. But I was at first a little bit, cause he, I don't want him to be nervous. So he said he's good, and uh, good thing we ended up winning. And I want to tell, tell him he's one of the best fathers. Thank you for your support, for making me the man who I am today. And also, I want to thank my mom that is here watching. And uh, thanks God, too. I can't forget about him in my hometown, San Pedro de Macorís. This is probably more home runs than you've ever hit in one setting. How do you think your body will feel tomorrow? I feel great. I'm still young. I'm 28 years old. And uh, I still got three days to rest and uh, meet the guys in Toronto. So thanks God again. and. All you guys for the support. 
Robinson, congratulations. Chris, back to you. Now, Pedro, thank you very much. And Robinson Cano, Nomar, and Krucky. I, you know, dad pitching, son hitting, mom watching, thanking everyone. An imp almost impossible task the way it was set up in the finals. Yet, hey, I'm, I'm, he stared down Adrian Gonzalez and caught him. We got oh, to see it. We got to witness the real life field of dreams. When, when you go out and play catch with your dad in the backyard as a kid, when your dad teaches you the game of baseball and how to love and respect the game of baseball, to watch this on national television, anyone who's ever done it, to do what he did in front of this crowd with his dad there, his mom in the stands, you can't write a script any better. And it seems like the Yankees are into this script thing right. this year with the 3,000 yes. hits right. and now this. So uh, it is the real-life field of dreams. We, ha we saw it tonight. We got to be a part of it. I mean, it is a special moment for sure. And be able to raise that trophy, I mean, a couple of just the moments in there when you just we, we were joking and looking at the smirk we're like is his dad gonna smile and we see he gets a little smile and then before the last one we thought okay was he gonna wait till he actually did it before the last one going you need one more and tell had to give a awesome. hug to his son to let him know yeah we're gonna do this that was impressive and we need to remind everybody he plays second base okay <laughs> which is a quote what are you trying to say about the middle infielders? I'm trying Come to on. say that whatever people think is not true because this was a show from start to finish by him and Adrian Gonzalez. They were neck and neck all the way through it. And, of course, it's the best finals we've ever had. I mean, that's – we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have here at Chase Field. Our thanks to Buster and Pedro as well, along with our baseball tonight crew, Sam Fault, protecting everybody. Robbie Cano, the winner of the 2011 MLB Home Run Derby. Next, the 2011 Taco Bell Legends and Celebrity Softball Game. It's been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. It's been fun in the desert. What will tomorrow night bring? The All-Star Game. For John Cruck, Nomar Garcia Para, Pedro Gomez, and Buster Olney, I'm Chris Berman saying so long from Phoenix. Robbie Cano did it all. It was a family affair.